Welcome to The Bracket, episode 62. Today, we are debating the best things in life that start with the letter B. Uh, we have a couple absentees. We got Francis and KBL, but we have Mushback and Clemmerback. Both were here in the last episode. Very fun episode last week. Fun one. Let me tell f- you, I will be here anytime you want. It's the most positive I've ever gotten. So <laughs> I will always be here if you want. To. Seeing a Marty compliment is like seeing somebody that's like seven feet tall. You're just like, nope, no way. <laughs> <laughs> you double check. <laughs> Ultra rare. Yeah. And we have Donnie on as well, uh, who joining in for our best things that begin with the letter B. Uh, let's just go right into it. I break. feel like there's a, two clear front runners. There's four clear front runners, and you'll see the further we get in. Okay. Honestly, even even, well, one of these I think could be a, f- a semi front runner. Oh, I forgot as we I forgot about Barstool as I saw Fistoli. There we are have five to- clear front runners <laughs> and yeah. beer. I forgot about beer. I'm sure somebody submitted of beer. Uh, uh, beer, gay. <laughs> you forgot about boobs and butt. Uh, man card. Yeah. Uh, give it, gimme, gimme. <laughs> we got our first matchup: the number twelve seed Beaches. Ooh, that was a Tommy one. And I think it's a smart one. Yeah, it's it's not for me. I, I'm not the biggest beach person, but I feel I like, like in general for the public, you know, yeah. beaches should be on. There. I like beach Be- towns more than beaches. Yes, mm-hmm. that's a great point. I'd be willing Already to amend here it we to go. He, slash bikers. Beach towns. And this is not the Bette Midler movie. This is the no, 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 okay. no, not the movie. This is legitimately just a. Be- oh, that changes everything. Ocean. <laughs> the Bette Midler movie. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just love drinking on beaches because I yes. I went to a beach sober with my family and it was not nearly as much fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that is. Not as fun. Do. It's just uncomfortable. Just sit there. Yeah. It's great. You jump in the waves and then you go back and you read a book and you jump no. back in the waves. The book. Those waves. That's not a good selling point. You fight the waves. You don't do that. You don't fight the waves. I, I used to like to get clobbered. After I turned 24, I hate getting wet. Mm. Oh. I don't. I, I just. I'm not good at getting dry anymore. It's I, if it's a really healthy. hot, sunny day, then it's okay because you'll get dry pretty quick. But mm. I agree. Drinking is the only. I mean, spike ball. I love spike ball. I love can jam. Can jam. Fun. Beaches uh, is our first nominee, by the way, Steve. Can Jam is very fun. Take your shirt off at the beach, Clemmer? Yeah, I do. I don't care. Fuck it. I'm 43. <laughs> so nobody's going to be surprised with what your body looks like. Yeah. It's, it's, we can, we can, I can picture what your body looks like. Oh, my skinny. God. He's so skinny. It's like, oh, <laughs> why does that 11-year-old have gray hair? Yeah, his yeah. shoulders just pop that That's big. That's right. I don't care. I'm curious what the nipples look like. The nipple situation. You have small nipples. I feel like they're like in do you want to take off your shirt, Clemmer? No. Average. Average. Nipples. average nipples yeah. yeah 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 you have to go to the beach you have to pay that admission to see this the okay. one thing that would Small shock me nipples. is like if you were very hairy not hairy at all yeah 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 uh, no I, not hairy i when sass does like the big nipples I yeah like that's what he would have could, no no normal size no no hair like really very little hair and then i, and then I have hair in my armpits obviously okay that's all cool. it feels like it's not that obvious if you're hairless on the chest almost KB has no body. Think, doesn't every think, man have hairy? Like, don't isn't that like 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 you'd be weird if you didn't? Yeah, there's no yeah normal. Yeah, for what? I'm insanely hairy, hairy pits. Too. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't have any hairs on my chest. I just start yeah, shaving. Yeah, my same back. boat. That's what I was just saying. Mm-hmm. What? I had to start shaving like yeah. up here. Hate it. Oh me too. Yeah, yeah. Like shoulder. Yeah, it just it fucking yeah. sucks. I want to wax it, but I can't. Like, can't reach it really correctly. That sucks. You guys have shoulder hair? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Zero. It's not fun. Uh, They're the curliest too. You have none. I feel like you know. I would have guessed you were a hairier guy. Hairless shoulders. Mm. By the way, playing bocce on the beach, very fun. Double B. Beach games. Words. Yeah, that's a great point. I think the beach towns, I agree with you, Nick, are the allure of that is way heavier than the actual physical beach. But you and I, well, no, you're not you. Just I grew up so far away from beaches and beach towns. It was like a, before I moved to New York, I think I saw the ocean six times in my life. Mm. And so there's that, that allure of of going to it's always a vacation for me like my my town had a beach but like i feel like we were in a beach town you like wrong like you're on conquer right like yeah. that's like you were close enough to a beach but like yep. we're not and i wouldn't really consider anywhere outside of like fire island to be beach long, beach. long beach long beach long beach true yeah that's fair you ever realize how dominant water is oh yeah yeah it's a five tool player yeah like it's yeah you can die it you makes you live survive. Mm-hmm. you can a view you can sell it mm-hmm. yeah it's got to be I, two more. That's why running, I get it runs. Yeah. Water, water water parks, runs. water parks, high running grade. That's why I get Cleanliness. very upset when I'm reading the news and it's like 22 year old drowns. It's like, dude, don't get to the age of 22 without learning how to swim. swim yeah, like it's a valuable skill. If if you teach your kid one thing, teach him how to swim. I saw one where there was this guy, like he brought his girlfriend to some resort in, um, I think it was in Southeast Asia, where they have an underwater hotel. And like you, oh. from your from your room, you basically you're in like a glass thing, and you can see everything around you. And she and he's like, wait here. And he goes up. 
he swims down and then puts a piece of paper up on the glass that's like, will you marry me? And he drowned on the way up. Oh, no. She said yes. Oh, my God. Like, just... Did she take too long to say yes? Uh, no, I think oh. he just he didn't know how to how to get back with oh. enough time. Like, <laughs> you could just, Oh, my just, God. That's horrible. Yeah, just a bad scene. So uh, she's single. <laughs> <laughs> Very single, I would imagine. Um, anyway, Beaches is going up against the number five seed, Bucks. And we're talking not the Tampa Bay Bucks. We're talking Moolah, B U C. KS, which is that's how I spell bucks, right? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's how you would do it. Yeah, I love homophones. Yeah, love. I just did that for my hundredth day. Is like, that a homophone? Yeah, I think that's bucks. just a word with multiple meanings. No, bucks and uh, bucks phonetically, homophone is the sound. Homonym is the spelling. Yeah. Yeah. What is blue and blue? That's homophone. homophone is that's two, how it sounds. Like two, two, yeah. and two. Yeah, that's a homophone. Yeah, yeah. Homonym is what Nick was spelling. Saying. Same yeah. spelling, different meaning. Yeah. So that so this is a homonym. You really oh, like phone. phone. He really likes the first four letters of those. Buck words. and buck. Like a yeah, it could be like a deer buck. That's B U C. It's the same spelling. The Tampa Bay buck is B U C. Yeah, mm. it's a lot of like just, a buck. Yeah, like but a the, big buck hunter. Yeah, like I'm thinking a buck. buck like Milwaukee bucks. Yeah, B U C K. No, that's like a homonym. Deer. Milwaukee. <laughs> All right, let's move <laughs> on. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he really likes the first four letters of those words. Big fan. Me? Of which one? Oh, <laughs> I was like buck. No. Yeah. Homonym homophone. Oh, homo? Oh, well, I <laughs> real, didn't say that. Real funny. <laughs> Beach, <laughs> all right, Beaches versus Bucks. Marty, you go first. It's tough now because it's such a it's a buckless country now. It really is a buckless country, and I think that I – but I get more joy out of a buck instead of a beach. So I'm going to go Bucks. Sometimes you need Bucks to see the beach. That is awesome, yeah. which is crazy. Paying to go to beaches when we had that Jersey beach house blew my mind. It makes Same. no sense. Yeah. Was it twenty bucks for the day? Yeah, but you, then it's clean though. You go to oh, some places that don't have that you don't that. pay to get in. It's very. I'll dirty. take me to a dirty public beach. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll lay right next to a needle if I have to. <laughs> there, you don't have the choice. Yeah, yeah. Just... there's a Rockaway beaches is uh, free, right? Uh, some of them are public ones are. Yeah, yeah. Coney yeah. Island's probably free. Yeah. Oh, it is. That yeah, beaches. Coney Island's free, and, and that's a mess. It's a great example. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Clemmer. I love bu- so I love cash. I don't like the the cards. Like I always have cash on me. I, I can prove it right now. I have cash on Shocker. me. You know, like look, you know, cash. Cash is good. You know, uh, cards are bad. But uh, but even though money is the root of all evil, so let's not forget that. So I'm gonna go with beaches. Beaches. You say that though, but like the live tour exists, and live just comes from bad money. But every I'd take you would take a hundred million. I wouldn't. You would. You want to take a hundred million? Hundred million? No, on the I, live tour, Clemmer. Hundred million dollars is a lot of money. I, I, uh, it comes million. from. It comes from oil. Since when are you? Hundred like, million dollars. I'm an actor. Oh, I'm not. Like, okay. I just know people say that, mm. and I'm just like, oh well, yeah, I would take it. Saudi royal family has murdered journalists. And, yeah, but if it's not going yeah. to you, it's going to go to somebody else. And I'm prob- I'm a better person than somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I wouldn't do it for like half a million dollars, but I w- hundred million I would probably. Yeah, you would. I don't think I would. Hundred million dollars in that. Hundred million thing I would. I have yeah, like million, half a million. I would right now. Yes. If if the live tour said Clemmer, we're giving you ten million dollars to come golf for us. You would say no. Ten million is tough. I said half a million. I'd yeah. say no. Half a million. You'd say no. Yeah, five hundred thousand. I would say no. Hundred thousand dollars. Absolutely. What? I would say so no. So golf. Yeah, I'm bad golf. Golf angers me anyway. You could be. That's the what team. makes it so much. Better. Doesn't matter. You don't have to be good. Guaranteed. I would be so upset dollars. golfing and doing bad. I would be throw. I'd be so and I'd be on TV. Everyone make fun. I mean, there is nothing not worse good. than being. Being the way worse golfer yes. in a group of people that are like so stressful. Good That's the only time. Five hundred dollars, five hundred thousand dollars for that discomfort. He's not sure he would one do time or million? for a year. Ten million, I probably would. Because you can probably <laughs> the so magic stupid. number is three million. If three million, you can retire for life and just live up the interest. So anything over three million, it's like I probably would do that. Uh-huh. For for half a million dollars for a Crazy. year, I would not do that to go and live tour and be the. No, I, I wouldn't it's, either. It's, it's not like you're yeah. touring like every day. It's hilarious. You'd yeah. be so popular, just but yeah, this guy's bad. Yeah, but what's, yeah. what's this guy? How bad he is? Look at Trent. That'd be great. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he's made a career. Yeah. Claim to be good. Exactly. It's not just being bad. It's also like it is like holding the tour. Yeah. Nobody would expect you. you to be good. They'd be like, you know, that really skinny. It's f- not just being bad. School. He's getting five hundred thousand dollars. It's not just being live. bad. It's also like you have to live with yourself. The thing is, like, what would we expect? Of course, he's bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. I said it's not just being bad. It's also like having. Like I would totally do it if the PGA offered it, but like at the live tour, You're morally opposed. Yes, to that's the, the thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what part? That's it? what it was me. It was him. I, it's a, it's a, I'm going with the political stuff, but I, there's, there's, there's elements of that that you are like, like savory. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm very pro Muslim. Okay. Um, I, I'm just elements of that, like where some of that money comes from. It's like I have some question marks there. 
I don't know. I wouldn't feel right. It would make me feel icky. Would you convert to Islam for three million? Well, I wouldn't believe it. Then it's all just like a charade. <laughs> so well, would you con- would you publicly convert? I'm agnostic. I don't believe in Would you publicly convert? You don't have you have to just go through it. Three million dollars? Sure. I, I would then I would I could spend time learning the religion. That'd be interesting. All right, I'm that I'm going to put together a GoFundMe. <laughs> all right, so we're one to one right now, Tommy. Uh I'll go Bucks. I mean the uh the beach, I'm not the biggest beach person. I don't like getting sand in all my crevices. It's people fun. say you get no beaches. Come on, dude. I'm not, I'm not gay. Uh, it's it's fun for a little bit, but uh, it, unless you're drinking, you have to have the other. You have to have more activities on the beach. So if we're talking just beach sitting there, I'd rather fucking kill myself. If I could do like a bunch of shit on the beach, yeah. But then is it those activities that are fun, or is it the beach? I don't want bucks to just steamroll through the competition, but I'll give it this round. You guys think it's crazy to like? I think throwing a frisbee on the beach is the most boring thing in the world. It's pretty boring, but frisbees are bike ball is fun. On you guys are so fucking spoiled. Football, frisbees. No, no, to know that you guys were so close to a beach, beach. you could go on a whim. I before like I said to mine in my childhood. Yeah, I went to uh, the beach like maybe three times. No, one was Lake Erie. That doesn't count twice. Lake beaches do not count. I thought it did. I thought that was the pinnacle. I was just so far from the beach. Having money in my pocket makes me dumb. I'll buy anything. It is just, mm. I, I know people say it's easier to spend money on a card. Not for me. If I am have cash in my pocket and I walk down Canal Street, that cash is gone. Mm. I'll buy a fake beanie. I'll buy a fake watch. I'll buy, I'll, I, it doesn't matter what it is. If I have enough cash, I'll get it. I don't it's know like why. It's free money to me. It, it really does cash seem is, like, cash is free money because like, I don't see it. if it's not in my account. It's it's free. already out of your account if yeah. you pulled it or if somebody gave it to you to pay you back. Money that people owe you is free money. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Like, I already spent it. Yeah, like, like you pay for dinner and then everyone Venmo's you or something. It's like unbelievable. Oh, so you guys don't have any like actual dollar bill. I carry in your cash. I, okay. do. I do. I have a hundred dollar bill on me right now from fucking Christmas. I don't know what to do with it. I have a cash in my pocket right now, and it's only because we went out to dinner and you guys gave me cash to pay me back. That was That's me because I was, tr- I was I trying cash, to get rid of it. Yeah, and I'm stuck with it now. I don't know what Until to do. Until I buy something and you owe me, and I have to fucking get it back. Exactly, and uh, I'm gonna Venmo you. Beaches are an awesome feel. Go get get like French fries. Beach French fries do taste beach better. French fries, it's so easy to get drunk on the beach. Yeah, the sun. Hat and tailgating, the two easiest places to get drunk. I think it's an outdoor thing. Yeah. Um, sun wicking away all your moisture. Uh, it's the best. Um, and I like to read as well. Uh, so I know you guys can't. Yeah. So I like reading. Yeah. I've become a reader a bit. I read a book by Stephen King, The Institute. Highly recommend. All right. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I apologize, Tommy. Clemmer can't read. I, I read all um, the time. What are you talking about? I just said I like to read on the beach. I even said read a book. Say that. Oh shit! That. I'm a big reader. Um, reads I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> he reads the Quran on the beach. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go beaches. Why is your towel facing west? <laughs> <laughs> the water's this way, man. <laughs> I haven't gotten that three million yet. You guys just making shit up. Well, uh, we're gonna get a GoFundMe. Yeah, and I bet you if it gets up to like 50k, you'd convert. No, I would not. I bet 250k you can. Nah. No. Why not? I don't, I don't. I don't need. No, I don't need. It's not funny. Yeah. I, you can put it in front of me. I'll say no to convert. To I would not. No. I'm, I say point. I wouldn't play in the live tour for that. So you just. It's you're just comparing the live tour to oh. a, ver- a respected religion. I'm agnostic. So like to convert would be a lie. Exactly? That means I don't believe in anything, but I don't know. It's like it's basically like a fucking hot take out. alert. It's, it's like, like a, it's like a pussy that. atheist. It's like you don't believe in the concept of. Yeah, I'm a pussy atheist. Make a decision. You like it or not? You, want, you believe it or not? If I have to pick something, I'd say I'm an atheist. So I wouldn't believe it. That's you basically would. the definition of ignorant. <laughs> yeah. No, I am. I'm. You don't ig- believe anything. You don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know. I, I am ignorant. I don't. I don't know. All right, beaches for Nick, uh, Donnie. I'm going to go beaches as well. Like a beach is a beach, but a buck just stands for money. So if this was like, if this was an M word draft, then uh, maybe I would go money. But you know, I like that. Um, I'm going beaches. That's half my brand is going hippo mode. And half the time that's at a beach. Uh, my fiance's dad was raised on Rockaway Beach though. And I guess you can overdose on beaches because he, he now hates them. Um, just because I think that was the only thing he could do growing up, and it's not known as the nicest beach, but if you if you've seen some of the beaches I've seen, well, you've seen like, some of the best in the world, yeah. and maybe the worst. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, oh, we saw maybe the worst, mm. hands down, the worst hands on the, the worst. Salton Sea, and a couple hours in the middle of the desert near San Diego. Worst beach. Oh, just really? Dead worst birds, beach. like oh, up and it's down. So the shore. polluted, everything's dead. <laughs> oh, you should have taken a picture. Mm. 
We I'm probably not, do have some photos of like uh, me, Roan, and uh, Dead Pelican. Oh, you guys Ron are in that Dead Bird chat. Dead bird chat. It's a fun mm. chat. We oh, saw yeah, Dead Pelican. in the group. Oh, you don't Pelican, see Dead Pelican. That's Pelicans rare. Right it's fucked up. You should have taken a picture of that. Mm. You guys are in a group that you share pictures of dead birds? If you see a dead bird, just send it and everyone writes it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Preferred mic. You don't have a dead bird chat? No, I don't. No, no. No, I left out of that one. You got a beach, tungsten one. That's you, it. you like live in a beach town, there, it's like cults. They don't leave that place. Like they oh, yeah. all know each other. They know what spot to go to on the beach. It's like they're nuts. And if you go into the town, you're like you feel like an outsider. It's like a movie or something. Like yes. when the new guy comes to town and everyone just like is all the nosy people, the sheriffs watching them. They all can tell. <laughs> Are you technically from a beach town, Marty? No. Okay. No. But like especially like is on like Fire Island or wherever, you go to like fucking whatever Atlantique, one of those beaches, like those people are fucking gunning you down. Yeah. The second you get Rock off. Rockaway. Of Rockaway is a big one of my friends lives there. It's a cult. Like mm-hmm. they, they don't leave either. They're yeah. they're moving back there too when they can. But they're happy too. Yes, they love mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So n- we are now three to two in favor of beaches. Jay, I go to the beach for like a week every year with uh, my wife and my in laws and my kids. I think being a dad has changed my perspective on the beach because now instead of the like just relaxing on the beach, it's more of like a massive chore because you mm. have to get all this shit and then carry it onto the beach and all that stuff. Um, so I, I don't actually view the beach as a very relaxing place anymore. Uh, so looking, smelling, feeling like a million bucks sounds pretty good. Mm. So I'm going to go with bucks. So I have a question. My friend has four kids and he loves the beach because he's like, I just bring them to the beach and they're totally entertained for the next five hours like i don't have to do much as long as they're on a beach they'll just find ways to keep themselves busy i'm not my kids are not at the age where they can like just go unsupervised places yeah. so maybe that will change but as of right now it's just like all right who's bringing the tent okay let's assemble the tent yep um, like carrying six chairs and a cooler with yes. you dragging it all pack horse Yep. I do love digging holes. When you're like, oh yeah, oh my! Like, like, do you ever see that video of all the dudes buried. digging the hole and like more and more people come yeah. around and look at the guys digging the hole? Like I would be that guy. I remember as a the kid, cops had to come and like yeah. shut down the Break hole because it's happened where a kid like the hole collapses. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I remember as a kid, people would be like, oh, if you Gonzo. dig deep enough, like you'll get to China. China, yeah. And I'd be like yeah. this is my life mission. Still, <laughs> I'm gonna be the guy that digs to China. I still believe that you can. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how the whole ma- Earth's mantle and crust works, but it feels like that would be a whole. There's a core. I guess it's incredibly hot. Saw a movie about that. Yeah, it's molten lava. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Aaron Eckhart. Yeah, good movie. Good flick. Uh, Goochman, you break the tie. Um, if I if I really cared about the money, I wouldn't do this. So um, we're going beaches. <laughs> beaches. But the beat the perch the uh, perks of the beaches at Barstool. Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next matchup, number four seed, busting a nut. Mm. versus the 13 seed um she's all right i would say she's all right do you know what i'm talking about what hmm? nick will probably know who i'm talking about she, he really likes her i think she's all right bethany hamilton is who i'm talking about oh hell yeah bethany hamilton bethany hamilton made the list the bethany soul hamilton surfer. versus busting a nut Who's bethany hamilton she got her arm bit off by a her, shark her left arm bit off by a shark she's all right was she uh the she's the, all right in a movie about her yeah soul yeah. surfer Okay. Out of the rest of development. Pull that joke. Uh, so Bethany Hamilton, the surfer, they got her arm bit off by a shark, and then later became the base of the movie Soul Surfer. Still a good surfer. Versus busting a nut. Bust, Jay, busting a nut is a four seed. Is outrageous. You think it's too low or too high? Too low. <laughs> well, wait till you see what's above it. We're talking a horny Steven over yeah. here. <laughs> I mean, this is a strong one seed for me. I so think it's just I don't seed. Know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck Bethany Hamilton is, but she ain't winning this matchup. <laughs> what it's a horn bag. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. What? No, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. tell, tell Marty your your typical day in high school, how many boners you would pop. I don't think this is crazy. Like one boner a class. A class? <laughs> That's Seven in high school. That's eight boners. Eight boners a day. Would you be not, not fixated class, on like, like a certain ones. girl? I mean, your mind just wanders, and then. 
that made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> That's every episode. Dude. I mean, you have a desk. Like, you had something bigger than this. Like, nobody's fucking... I, you had a full heart on once every period in school. I hated getting a boner. I did too. I hated it more than anything. Awful. I, gotta be, I don't think I've ever did. Like a no reason boner? Someone's like, gay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> dude, I, you never got a, like boners in class? Dude, if the wind changed, I'm getting a boner. <laughs> <laughs> That's a healthy cock. Yeah. Uh, His blood flow is unmatched. Did you ever crank? You, we've probably asked this. Did you ever crank one in school? Uh, I'll exactly. take that as a yes. <laughs> yes. That's a yes. If you have to think oh, about it. That's exactly yes. two times. Two times? Wait, we're bathroom? Have we, have we done bathroom. this? Bathroom. We had to have talked it. was about only because I got detention. I got detention twice. I fucking... What was it after school? In class. Or after school. Okay. Why, why did that affect... I don't understand the uh, logic here. Man's got to have a code. <laughs> so you... Wait, did you code? beat off every day at a certain yeah, time? Yeah, did you have a schedule or something? If I got detention. <laughs> <laughs> every... So you got detention So that was your like... Is that like rebellion against the detention? I'm, I'm missing the logic here. I, I think it's a fetish. Yeah, I think uh, you're saying that punishment you fetish. would get home from school every day and jerk off, so that if if you had detention, you had to get off at the same time. No, no, no. <laughs> Is it a punishment? I would, but no. Was beating? Was it an act of rebellion? Yeah, I think so. Punishment yeah. kink, maybe. <laughs> like you being punished by the system, and you kind of like that. Yeah, I uh, didn't like it. Mm. Um. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really know how to answer. That. Did not like that. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I could beat off at school. Um, oh, when he was there. Oh, it'd be so, like be so much anxiety that that would be a, yeah. that's the that's like the last place. You ever jerked off in this office, Stephen? No, never. Who did? Young Page was definitely jerked off in this office <laughs> I, multiple times. Yeah. Well, he well the I old one, the old one for sure. There, so he yeah yeah that one for Stooley. <laughs> So he just, he just looks stares at the, at the bar stool logo. Wall. It's just <laughs> him yelling "Viva!" He doesn't even need to jerk off; it just seeps out. Oh my oh. god! I had sex yeah. in my high school once. What? That really? was the most nervous thing I think I've ever done in my wow. time. It was after school. Same Fair. thing. It was just in like a classroom. It was like like everything was empty. No one was around. With like, a fellow teenager? What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe like a, maybe like a teacher. Thought I got like fucked out. by a teacher? I don't know. Janitor? That, that could I wasn't having cool. sex. Hello, that was statutory teacher. rape if that happened. <laughs> Ken Jack just got a text from Jerry Thornton. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tell me right more. <laughs> what do you do, fellow teenager? <laughs> I think it was the lunch lady, Steve. <laughs> no, it's happening. Uh, Donnie. It was, uh, again, busting a nut versus Bethany yeah, yeah, Hamilton. Yeah. I'm going to go busting a nut. I feel like my favorite nut to bust is the hangover nut when you just mm. feel like shit, but you know for those few minutes that you're... Duggan. <laughs> tugging at it just you'll have oh, a few minutes of peace mm -hmm. and sometimes i'll just i'll keep on doing it all day just to just to get a little respite from the hangover i think um, it's, it gets your like brain flow pumping i feel like because it gets I, your blood pumping a little i've never been big on the hangover jerk off I, when i'm sick sometimes i like to jerk off i don't know why but when i'm hung over <laughs> <Cure> fever <laughs> yeah yeah i used to bust a nut in my college library bathroom because like you'd have to go in there and cram for finals yeah and they had a handicapped one that you could just lock and it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of room. Yeah, Have your privacy. Yeah. And yeah, if they so walked in on nice. you and they saw your face yeah. while you're doing it, they'd be like, yeah, he was handicapped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, it helps clear the mind. If you're just trying like, yeah. grinding, writing an essay, go over, tug one out, mm -hmm. come back out. The juices are flowing. Literally. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. I like that. It's good reasoning. Nick. I think there are better feelings than busting a nut. I agree. Double Q-tip in an ear after a shower. Not supposed to use Q-tips. Yeah, not supposed to. <laughs> Best feeling. Maybe that's that's my number one feeling. What are you, what are you scoffing at, Stephen? Um, what kind of Q-tips you guys? Eating doing? when you're starving, <laughs> taking a drink when you're real thirsty. I think that's better. Yeah, I, um, yeah. Because uh, even peeing when you, you really have peeing when you have to piss. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. First beer of the weekend. Waking up from a nightmare. Yeah, well, you can something. like die from thirst. You're not gonna die if you don't bust a nut. No, no. So um, I think some guys are scared while sleeping. to say that thing. Like They like think they have to say busting a nut's the coolest um, thing in the world. But mm. I, know, I know not you. I know you believe it. Yeah, yeah no, no. Know it, so I'm not That's a man who loves to yeah. bust nuts. <laughs> mm. It's just a pure love of the game. <laughs> I'm a huge coward and if I was a professional surfer and I got my arm ripped off and munched by a bull shark as a teen, I would not get back on a board. She's munched. an inspiration every single day. Bethany Hamilton. She's got her arm munched. I love, love that. that. Tommy. That was beautiful. Thank you. Similar to what happened to Liz with that car. Yeah, that's true. If Polar the bull rocks. shark was just like a Cadillac yeah. Escalade going 200 miles an hour. Bethany Hamilton was Liz. Yes. I think she, <laughs> did she get hit by a Tahoe or is that what the British person said that hit her? 
<laughs> you had that one in the bank for a while. Didn't you? <laughs> for that one. Jesus Christ. Uh, Tommy said Liz, and Nick's like, yes. Finally. I'm waiting for this one. It's been like two months since we did a Liz hit by a car joke. Um, we, we went for 20 minutes once on the bracket just talking about Liz getting hit. Because she car. was so hit and by going, it. She, she, was pul- she was pulverized so- by the car. <laughs> She was undeniably pulverized by that moving vehicle. She did yeah. like a Tom and Jerry, like, yow! <laughs> With like this cart yeah, dude, in the dude, air. Yeah, she got back up and she was like an accordion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. Her teeth were somehow piano keys. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, just truly flattened. Uh, I'll go with uh, busting a nut. I mean, it, it, I, it's not going to win for me, but it's a good feeling. It's not the best mm-hmm. feeling. It's a good feeling. Back rubs actually might. Oh, Whoa, if you have an itch and somebody gets it, I like a back scratch. Back yeah. scratch. A back tickle. Back tickle. Someone bad. writes on your back. Oh, tickle. That's, I've said that's honestly the only reason I like. I I don't really want a girlfriend right now. If I did, it'd be only for back tickles. Dude, yeah. I just want someone to tickle my back. I count a loss of virginity as for the first time a girl cracked an egg on my head and it ran. Oh, you remember that? Oh, uh-huh. cracked an egg. You know, they do this whole thing. They're like, this crack an egg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Jesus. So uh, anyway. <laughs> and, uh, Sometimes. Yeah, I think it's got to be. I mean, all due respect to Bethany Hamilton, uh, I think it's got to be busting a nut. And we, you know, busting a nut, I think we kind of like we're tying it to Jack and all. Busting a nut can also be having sex yeah. as well, right? I mean, you know, I think it's, there's a lot going on with busting a nut. I think, I think that that's a clear pick here. Clear pick, Marty? Bethany Hamilton. Bethany I think Hamilton. that everything, I think all I've dreamt about is what I would do if a shark got to me. Mm-hmm. And everyone says you'd punch it in the nose. That's what you're supposed to do. But it's way too hard. Not to thinking that fast. Do that. It's like a yeah. crocodile. You got to run zigzag if it comes after you. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Fast. They, they can't though, turn. Aren't they? they can't like. Can't, they don't can't got see. They can only see straight ahead. Yeah, they don't got anything on the sides. They mm-hmm. they don't have Riggs vision. So the thing <laughs> is where it's like Bethany, like Nick says, it's inspiration. She's mm-hmm. got one. I watch a one arm basketball player play all the time. It's incredible. Oh, that guy went to my Mendel college. Hensel. He's, yeah, he's unbelievable. Yeah. And it's I'll. I watch that more than anything else. So, mm. and it's only down to here too. Did they kill the shark that got her hand? No, I don't think so. Oh, she's got the she's oh, got an elbow. No, no, she's up to socket. Like, she's oh. up to shoulder. Yeah. Wait, that's... no, that bull shark was stuffed. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, that's yeah, the junk thing was gone. Um, that's weird thinking that her arm yeah. is just like shark poop. Wait, there's a the one arm basketball player like plays. He's in college right now. I don't know. Oh wait, was I thinking of college? He just got to college. I think no. he must be horrible. He's got to be bad. There was a one-armed basketball player. Maybe get sponsored by and one, <laughs> just one. He had a three the other day. He was incredible. <laughs> we now like have the technology to just build you a new arm, right? Yeah, because you yeah. could get a like uh, inspector gadget arm. That yeah, would be, like, and they like can real. like you can like individually like control the fingers somehow. Uh, yeah, they uh, link it to your neurons or whatever, something. so you can still move it. But yeah, I would just. It would be fun to actually lose an arm if you could get like a high tech replacement that could do five things. Like you could screw on a dildo, you could mm. screw on. <laughs> that was the first high tech thing. Yeah. Bottle opener, yeah. <laughs> Process number one. Metal detector. I, don't I know. think I've said this on the yak. I would love to open up instead of like a tattoo shop. We have like a, a shark, and you can get like a shark bite scar, but it's oh, safe. Yes. And so like you yeah, get a stat or like Ooh. some things it's along just, the lines. They would have. Of they that. would just cut you. Like I think it would be like that. You'd have to put the shark in some sort of like. Like a bear trap? Some sort of trap and just close it slowly. You get the bite and then you're like, all right, there's your shark bite. Yeah. That'd be sick. Or can you do that for like replicating a car, like getting hit by a car (laughs) on Ninth Avenue? (laughs) Nobody can, (laughs) nobody can come back from that. Yeah. Nobody ever would. Uh, Next matchup, number nine seed versus the eight seed. Eight seed, Donnie, you put in late boats and I agree with it. I think boats are extremely cool. I think being on boats is awesome. I think just the general concept of a boat is really cool. And I read, I dig it. I think that was a smart pick. And that's going up at the number nine seed, Buffalo Wings. Ooh. One of the few, few foods on here. Buffalo Wings, just all time for any great sports occasion food. And just in general, I think. But I don't know. Maybe yeah, that's just me. Marty, you're not, you don't seem like you're a boat guy. This is an awful thing. Oh, yeah. You hate boats. I hate boats. I think you're. if you go on a boat willingly, you're getting kidnapped. You have When you don't own the boat, you go out there for – you have no idea how many hours you're out there. And they can be out there for eight could be two you don't know how much to pack are you gonna bring sandwiches you could ask these questions yeah but then they they can do whatever they want <laughs> they can just say no right, it's the implication i think everybody's been on a boat way too long like oh, when, when we get when's this going in when yeah, it's like, yeah when I, i'm most I'm, I'm not a, if i never go on a boat the rest of my life that's a fine life yeah like and i've i've 
I understand that, like it's cool to be out in the ocean, but then it's like, all right, I've had enough. I'd like to sit down somewhere that may be com- more comfortable than this. Yeah. And I don't like buffaloes. Buffalo wings. You don't like buffalo wings? Oh, oh this is a nightmare for But me. I'm going to go buffalo wings because I can – I've had it and I, I, it's buffalo sauce that I don't enjoy too much. I'm a pussy mm-hmm. with spice. But I'm going to go wings because bo- I'm very strong against boats. Very against boats. Clemmer. As a saying, I guess, is like the best day of your life is when – the two best days of your life is when you buy a boat, when you sell a boat. Yeah. I guess like owning a boat is just like a nightmare and it works very like this one. And then like Marty was saying, like, the, like when you go out, like we said, we've all been on boats. We've gone out too long. Boats are, are fun-ish. I've been on a sailboat once. That was a lot Sail, of work. Sailboats stink. That was not fun at all. Yeah. It was a lot of work. Horrible. Um, yeah, boats, eh. Uh, buffalo wings are great. I'm a very picky eater. I enjoy buffalo wings. I, 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 I'm like Marty. I like, like hot stuff. I like to get it hot. Uh, and then you can also have other flavors on it as well. Buffalo wings are great. Um, yeah, that's an easy one. I don't get why people own boats like here. Mm. Why you can only do it three months of the right. year pretty yeah. much. Mm. Like if it's in my backyard, I understand. But here it makes no sense. They have like that whole, people have like that private dock down the seaport. It's like, yeah, you just got to be insanely rich to have one. Tommy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big boat. Per- I mean, a yacht. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yachts do count. Yacht. Yachts a boat. I'd be okay with having a yacht. Um, but have you ever I've, been on a yacht? I've been on a yacht while I was docked. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it, like a booze cruise thing, or no? Just like those are technically yachts. It was. It's a yacht. It just wasn't at sea. It was just gotcha. docked. Um, booze cruises are fun. Yeah, booze cruises are. But again, sometimes you get a little seasick. <sighs> mm-hmm. I. Maybe if you're a bitch, I'm fine. I'm a bitch. I'm fine without never going on a boat again. If, if you ask me, would I rather never go on a boat again or never have buffalo wings again? Rather never go on a boat again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like buffalo wings. They're, I'm not obsessed with them, but they're very good. I like you can get drums only now. Yeah, I would only get drums for the rest of my life if I had the, uh, the, the option now, which is great. Yes, mm-hmm. I used to be a big flats person, and then I got too annoyed because you can't dip them in a circular blue cheese cup. And I've yeah. always said that we need a rectangular mm. blue cheese dipping thing that you could put the flats yeah. in there. Great idea. And okay. then some company has them and they sent a bunch to me. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah. And I lost them. Pig, like a pig trough? <laughs> Good <laughs> shout out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Nick. Every time I get on a boat, it's a 50-50 gamble if I get sick or I really enjoy myself. Mm. But when I enjoy myself, I really do. Um. On the lobster boat. That's, that's I was thrown up on the lobster boat. I've never been on a cruise, but then like um, we took a boat. Uh, you guys take a river boat while you were? We, we, were, we went fishing in Alaska, and that was fucking awesome. Yeah. Didn't get sick at all, and it was like rainy, and it wasn't bad, though. Um, Even when like I'll go over to Rudy's, my friend, to, uh, his place, he'll invite me over to his apartment mm. uh, just for some one-on-one time with Rudy. Yeah. And, uh, Which Rudy? Huh? Which Rudy? Uh, he works here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the handsome one. Yeah, yeah, the handsome one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tommy, have you? Oh, he's my friend too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you were talking about our friend Rudy. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to his place? I invited me over day. I couldn't make it. I had other. So one of the many times I've gone over there, I um, I just take the ferry over. He comes. What a delight over. that is. He comes over to my. How fun it is! It is just for like a a fifteen minute jaunt across the mm-hmm. across the uh, the water. That uh, ferry is really nice too. I like that ferry. There's like sell beer. There's, there's boot. Yeah, I get. A, I'll you grab driven like a, to like I was in. I had to go to Maryland from Jersey, and I so the GPS took me to a ferry, and you park on the ferry. Oh yeah, I've done it. Yeah. That shit's crazy. You go to, if you go to Connecticut, same thing. It's, That's yeah. nuts. That it's a crazy move by the yeah, GPS. Yes. I was I crazy was uh, I you. was driving from like Jer- or Long Beach Island to Delaware, yep. and it took you to, and they're like, okay, now you're here. Now get on this. Ferry. I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> like, what? For this. <laughs> oh, they, they do that. They do that on purpose. It's like a green initiative. Like they want you to like oh, not a, drive. They say ahead of time. By the way, this route requires an option. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, I was like, I don't want to get out, and you can't turn around. They, no, they're, you're they're there. You're, yeah. It's like yeah. three hours out of the way to get back. The ferry up to Connecticut is like seventy dollars each way too. So you better like better have some cash if you're. Jeff going. Ferry sucks. I don't like that ferry, but I do like the ferries like around the city. Like, that drunk ferry is something. Yeah, when you the last one that leaves at eleven. If you miss that, you're just fucked. fucked. You're fucked. I had to recommend something for someone coming to New York City. The Staten Island ferry is. It is beautiful. Really it's nice. Going ferry. across the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, it's free. Nice uh, bargain in the city. Uh, w- uh, what's it called? Freedom Tower. Like just, yeah. just some beautiful sights. And Damn, I've never done that. I might have to. I might have. Oh to. yeah, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Um, and this is up against buffalo wings. Does that mean it has to be the buffalo sauce on it? Yeah, I think that's the worst wing sauce. I'm a dry rub man. Mm, that's right. I forgot about um, you. So I'm, I'm going to get boats. I'm going to go boats, Donnie. Boats would be my number one pick overall. I think. And uh, I can always eat Korean fried chicken over buffalo wings. Better. 
Bam. Uh, much better. Yeah. So I love boats. Being seasick sucks, but it's so rare that it happens to me. Uh, most of the times, it's it's all laughs on boats for me. In Hong Kong, you could find like ten of your friends. Everyone chips in maybe fifty to a hundred bucks, and that comes with a giant boat for the day with all you can eat and drink on that boat. Unbelievable. Oh. And it just leaves the downtown yeah. harbor, pulls around to a cove, and post up, jump off the boat, <sighs> swim, hang out all day. Um, so yeah, and hey, most of us would have never made it to America if it wasn't wow. on boats. That's a oh, fact. Wow. Yeah. Damn. I didn't really think about that. Did anyone here have relatives that came to America via plane, or are we all the no. boat, boat generation? Boy. Boat, 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 yep. boat man. man. Your plane? I think so. Oh yeah, because really you're. Asked, yeah, that would make your dad came sense. from Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Recent enough that it was a plane. Yeah, we're mostly yeah. Oh. Italian Irish boat people. If that makes, I would just assume anyway. Uh, so Steve, Clemmer was here with the first man. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the Mayflower. The wire, yeah. yeah, I just originated here, right? Yeah. right. <laughs> um, I, boats are okay. I. I saw my first titty on a cruise. I used to want to be uh, a blackjack dealer on a cruise ship. Um, Wait, a blackjack dealer? Yeah, that's what I wanted to be as a on, a, on a cruise ship. Oh, I thought that was the first boob that you saw. No, it was no, the blackjack? That would have been electric. How? What was the? What was the boob? I was on a cruise ship. I was like on the upper deck, and there was a pool below, and there was a voluptuous woman who was um, sunbathing, and she like undid the back to like put her arm over but then i saw when she put her arm over, so. uh, i saw the neck. I, I thought I like, like a girl, i thought a girl like showed you her boob no, <laughs> yeah. oh no you were <laughs> creeping from afar i know <laughs> steve's like yeah i saw this girl years old. getting 11? changed in a room i looked through the window <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did you bust a nut after no i was probably rocked up though um <laughs> rocked up uh boats if anyone remembers the uh adult um website or series captain stabbing <laughs> no no not at all I, reason, I only know of it through yep. barstool that's reason it for me oh really you're just you know pork woman and throw her overboard which is uh it'd be, wait, it'd be, a, very funny, it'd be a funny gag wait. <laughs> it's like, hey, imagine, wait, wait, wait. imagine the bang bus where like they do kind of that same thing except it's a boat i think it's bang bros or, i don't know oh bang bros did captain stabbing i think i don't know Okay. It really is like one of two. He fucks a girl and he throws her overboard. <laughs> yeah, she would be into it and like you know it, it's yeah. Yeah, wait there, there he is. Yeah. Yep. Been stabbing from 2002 to 2020. Only recently retired. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I probably okay only knew season one of that. Yeah, now this is looking more familiar. All right, I kind of so you run on boats. No, buffalo <laughs> wings are the goat. So <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, I've actually been doing the TB12 method. Today is the last day. I've been really? doing it for essentially a year, 11 months since Tom Brady came back in early March. And the one thing that I miss the most is buffalo wings. Mm. So I'm probably going to have those tomorrow. Not the money you threw away? No. <laughs> I ate well. I lost like 15 pounds. I think the – so wings is going to win. I think the only thing I would have said in defense of boats really is that like wings, there could be – like you could be in a bad situation and eat wings. You could be depressed and eat wings. You can be all those things. You're in a beach. Or if you're on a boat, you're happy. I think for the most part, unless like, you're on the Titanic. Uh, unless yeah, you're on the Titanic, or I'm sure the for the most part, the boats that like all of our ancestors took over, like no good, were not a yeah. fun experience. But yeah, they were in steerage or whatever. Yeah, steerage. Yeah, that's no fun. Uh, I have a, if I may share, I have a terrible memory from a boat that has nothing to do with any of that. Please. Sure. Um, my dad is, <laughs> my dad's really into fishing. My parents got a beach house when I moved to, or when I went to college and he goes fishing like every day. They're both, re they're both retired now. And, um, for Father's Day one year when I, I think it was a freshman or sophomore in college, we went out like deep sea fishing and I took him to do that for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, when he fishes now, he does it on a jetty because if he goes on a boat, he gets very seasick. So it was me and him, and we brought our own equipment. And if you, I think we were blue fishing or something like that. So you need to be at a certain depth. Or maybe it was flounder. You need to be at a certain depth, like the bottom. So you need to have like weights and stuff like that. And we didn't have any of that. So our lines were swimming way above everyone else. And then also he got seasick literally the entire time. And I caught zero fish among strangers to the point where there was a limit, I think, of like 12 fish you can keep. And it was a bunch of people being like, hey, you want to hold my line and drag this one in? Or do you want oh. this fish? And I was, it was like, three, it was, I think we were gone from like 8 p.m. to like 3 a.m. Mm. It was just me out there with a bunch of strangers. Cold as shit. It was so cold. 
um, the absolute worst. So I don't really like boats that much. You just unlocked a memory for me from boats. Uh, we did a school trip one year where we went on like a fishing trip. Um, and it was, did you ever do one of these? Yep. Whale oh, watches. I did this too. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. You go out and you do like a fishing, we did like a fishing trip in Long Island Sound and it was like a chaperone thing. So like my dad was with me and at the time, I think I was like probably 13. Uh, I didn't realize what a lesbian was. Mm. Uh, and my, one of my classmates who was next to us, he had his mother who was a lesbian with her Steven's face, <laughs> just she, smiling at the she, thought of lesbians <laughs> she was dre- she was dressed very much like a guy and her voice was deeper and she caught a fish and she's like go get, she's like, go get someone go get someone and i was like oh uh rich's brother caught a fish oh, wow. and <laughs> i had no idea who it was because like we weren't talking we were just next to it and i was just like richie's brother caught a fish and she was like that's i'm her i'm his mom and i was just like oh, oh. Yeah, it's tough. that's something you don't come back from. You yeah. remember that forever. Yeah, I it, you I buried it for a long time, and for some reason, just unlocked into when Steve just said that. Shout out, Rich Hines. I didn't have any lesbian or Steve. gay parents when I was growing up in school. I wasn't a no. I, mean, yeah, I don't think we did either. Mm, only the one that I know of, anyway. Uh, so if Buff- I did, I would have bullied the shit out of. Him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Buffalo Wings gonna move on. We have the decider Che in option. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, the first couple ones are Che's. Uh, Brady, comma Tom, yep. Buccaneers, comma Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you needed comma Tampa Bay for that one. <laughs> the, I don't think he actually did that. I just included it. Uh, the BB4 Nike shocks. Yep, my favorite basketball shoe. His favorite basketball shoe. Uh, blue cheese, which I think was also for wings. Yep. For I had wings. that one on there too. I like yeah. ranch more for my wings. I That's, couldn't tell the difference when they put them out together. Uh, yeah. Buying things, also in the chain game. Uh, Band of Brothers, the miniseries. Great, fantastic Ooh. miniseries. Uh, ben Mintz, made it to the <laughs> list. <laughs> Phenomenal human. Uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, come on, that's great. Uh, Marty, you had this and I agree. Baboons. Oh, I love the pink bottoms. <laughs> those those love, asses are red. Suck, man. <laughs> they, yeah, baboons they're are ba- they're bad monkeys. Actually, the monkey. animal sucks, but like saying baboon it's is a fun word. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. I don't, I like the, Genetically. I like seeing their, when they run around their, their, their pink asses. Yeah, they have, they have those bare red, pink bulbous ass. ass. <laughs> yeah. They have like blue well, no, noses. They're, they're funny. Really, like fangs, right? Like legit fangs. Are they the ones with yeah. the blue faces? Yeah, I think so, right? My friend yeah, rented a car so. in South Africa and baboons ripped off the windshield wipers. At least and then he had to pay for them. They're like, you didn't buy baboon insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Not a buy baboon. Like, you put baboon anywhere. It's funny. Yeah. It's just a funny word, baboon. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Batman. Oh, Batman. Batman, Not Batman didn't make the top. Did oh, not see it. Uh, and then after Batman, baseball. Also, oh my god, what are yeah, we doing here? On my list. What are we doing? Oh, no Batman, baseball, or Breaking Bad? What is happening with this? I have a Batman take. Every villain in Batman is better than Batman. Villains are great. Yeah, but, yeah. The whole Batman but he beats them all. Hmm. And the movies are always labeled Batman. So yeah, like, what is Batman is- even. I I don't watch. I have, what do they? What does he do? Drive that fast car? He, he yeah. fights crime. Uh, Come on, I'm not gonna explain. No, I don't watch Batman. How do you not watch Batman? I've never seen the Dark Knight. Come on, Superman. I've never seen the Dark Knight, but like, I don't really remember. <laughs> so <laughs> it's down. <laughs> Come Batman. Batman doesn't do anything. He fucking drives fast. Yeah, he's the world's greatest. Detective. It's the most realistic the superhero. Like Superman, he fucking flies. That's why people like him. He's the world's greatest detective. He does it all with his mind. That's what makes him so great. Amen, Clemmer. Thank you. I like how, how much I not, agree with. Got a bunch Clemmer. of gadgets. How do you not have? And you know, what, baseball. Baseball is the greatest thing ever. No baseball. I would baseball would be number one. Full stop. Would you rather give up busting a nut or baseball? Oh, uh, busting a nut. I didn't bust oh. a nut. I didn't bust a nut until I was like what, twelve? I grew up Batman and baseball <laughs> when I was like three, and I still love it. Baseball is the best. I thought you were about to say like thirty-two. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a much later number. <laughs> no, <laughs> most normal. He number meant the, he meant the year twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so, so any any type of baseball. Uh, well, I think baseball is encompasses all of it. Yeah, sure. Whole experience. I can't believe that's not in the. That's a not see. I'm not happy about that. Not see. That's, that's crazy. That's bullshit. Were that's, conversations that's had bullshit. by the committee? Didn't make it. Had, couldn't had to get into the chain game. So Che, you could start well, again. We'll go through it. Brady, the BB4, Nike Shocks, the Bucks, Blue Cheese, buying things, Band of Brothers, Ben Mintz, Breaking Bad, Baseball, Batman, and Baboons. Gotta stay true to myself. It's the Buccaneers. They're everything to me. So <laughs> I don't care if it's not gonna win. That's my vote. For life, a, a, a wasted vote, but an honorable one, mm. honey. I think I'm gonna go Batman just because the Dark Knight, I s- still think to this day, is my favorite movie. Mm. Batman, it is a good film. I want to make sure that's film. known. I think I gotta go Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
Um, <laughs> no, it's fucking buying things. That's the, that's, yeah. that's the best thing. Yeah. Getting things, buying things with mm-hmm. money you earned. Oh, I earned this. I saved up. I got something. Mm. It's the best. Retail I've been buying therapy. shit left and right. I'm, I'm happy when I go buy whole, goofy shit. If I go a whole day and don't buy anything, I feel good about myself. Why? You go a no whole, whole day with no Batman? You don't? No, I, that'd be a sad day, right? Mm. Day no baseball, especially. No, if I, if I go a whole day, I'm like, I didn't spend a dollar today. It's like, yes. Dude, if I see a sick-ass pair of shoes and I'm just like, damn, those are awesome. Wait. <laughs> I can buy them. Buy them right here. And then you get them? That should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Uh, I'll go baseball. Um, I, I think, you know, I like baseball. Uh, I think it's it should have been on the bracket. Um, I know Clemmer's going to vote baseball, too. Their strength in numbers. So I'll go baseball. Baseball? Climber? I I have I, I want to vote for Breaking Bad. I want to vote for Batman. I have to go baseball. This is, this, I can't believe I'm torn with this. I can't believe none of these. That's that. One of these should have been on the bracket. Mm. That's crazy. I'm well, I'm with fucking Bethany Hamilton. Bethany Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, what <Yeah>. the fuck? <laughs> she lost. Because it's an anus inside joke. There's, not, there's only what one one armed baseball pitcher <laughs> ever. Also, she is an inspiration. Don't fucking yeah. No besmirching Bethany Hamilton's name here. Baseball. Was the, what was the one-armed baseball pitcher's name? Jim Abbott, most famous uh, for uh, the Boy Meets World. He mm-hmm. Gray was a one-armed outfielder. He played in the, like nine, 1944 with the Browns. Did, one-armed outfielder, and he batted. Did any of them lose an arm to a shark? No. Oh, that's not cool then. It's not as cool. If you lost it in like a corn husker or something, I'm just I'm not as interested as if it was to a bull shark. Significantly cooler, unfortunately. And surfing is cooler than baseball too. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just cooler. It's... I'm not saying it's better. It's just cooler. Yeah. Is baseball Martin. your favorite thing in the world? Yeah, I think so, right? I- I'm asking I mean, like, <laughs> who asked the question after that? <laughs> no, like, I mean, hey, not, that's wrong. Not counting so- like, family and friends. Like, <laughs> like the next step would be baseball. Yeah. Baseball. Wow. Yeah. Marty. Baboons. Baboons. I love baboons, man. I just say, like, just watch them. <laughs> so the two votes for baseball is going to carry it in and face it up against the juggernaut one seed, the boys. Oh. Oh. I love the boys. The boys, not the show. Just kicking the it with the boys. Yeah, the boys. Kicking it with the boys versus baseball. Marty, you're up first. Uh, baseball. <laughs> baseball? Because yeah, you do it with the boys if you really wanted to. Baseball you is. You need just... the boys to play it. <laughs> yeah, this isn't fucking also, league of their own. I am wearing a hat that says <laughs> the boys on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going baseball. One for baseball. Clemmer. I love my friends so much. I uh, you did say that they were above baseball. Just you have a second ago. tattoos. If my friends were dead, I'd be so sad. If baseball was banned, I would be very upset. But I guess I would watch more Batman, or I'd find, or I'd get more into like football <laughs> or basketball. I would be devastated. I can't replace my friends. I hate that this is. I have to go with the boys. Boys, watch cricket, yeah, it's, maybe it's, it's the boys. <laughs> I feel like this has happened on a number of brackets where. What was the one where it won? It was just like chilling with M. the fucking dudes. I think the M M word. Men won. Men. Men yeah. beat memories. Memories. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Men versus um, boys. Wow. Would you go with that? Uh, I think boys. Yeah. I'm going. I'm going with the boys. Yeah, like mean, a group of men could be a bad thing. Like, but mm-hmm. the, the boys. That's a good. thing. Great part of baseball is that it's just you're just chilling with the boys. Chilling with the boys. Two for the boys. Nick. I love going to a baseball game. Um, and I think baseball is one of the few sports that I'd be fine going to alone. Mm. Yeah. But uh, kicking it with the boys, there's nothing better because you, it's, you, there's no expectation. You're just you get to be yourself. I can fart. Yeah. I love farting. Yeah. It's almost encouraged. Yeah. I, I, kicking it with the boys. And especially now that I'm older, uh, you don't see the boys as often. Yeah. So it's always special. All right. Can I take back my answer? <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely can. I want the boys. Yeah, you want the I boys. I love the boys, man. It's so nice. Well, Marty, we've established he doesn't like to hang out with his friends. Well, I do. Unless they're yeah. doing stuff. Something. There was one time I mentioned on the short porch, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm getting dinner with friends. And Marty was like, you guys are always getting dinner with your friends. What's that all about? You're always getting dinner with friends. It's like, <laughs> Marty, it's the fucking boys. <laughs> is Marty Andrew Dice Clay? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you, guys, you guys always were saying, like, you, my friends are getting... I, I don't guess I see my friends as much because they're so scattered around, I feel. Thank yeah, God. I mean, it's what great I was... having a group, but it's been a while since uh, a Saturday. I'm going to dinner with some friends. First time since one of my friends got married, and we're going to talk about, you know, what's it like being married, bitch? Mm. You know, best Is man. It, you think it's best more best fun yeah. now because you don't see them a lot, or was it when you were just like, because we were reckless? Everything I was think, better back then. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Everything. Yeah. 
You uh, didn't give a fuck about literally anything. No, everything was better. <laughs> Zero responsibility. Uh, Donnie. The boys. Nick brought up a great point. I, yeah, I think even now more so than then, just because it's uh, it's a rare occasion, or at least more rare than it was. And now, hopefully, some of your boys have money, so you can you might be able to have more fun together when you guys are all in the same spot. Um, yeah. Baseball sucked at Little League. Mm. Um, that was traumatizing. Dominican baseball, incredible, but mm. I got pickpocketed at the game. <laughs> That's a part of the experience. My yeah. boys have never pickpocketed me. <laughs> yeah. At least I hope not. So I'm going with the boys. Going with the boys. Jay. The boys. No yeah. question. You're not a baseball guy, right? He doesn't know who Mike Trout is. Not he now does. Right. You oh, seem I do. like you would be a baseball guy. Yeah, you yeah. do. What? You're not? Like no. you would Don't definitely love to sit down. So much data. Do the <laughs> book. All the stats the is the best. Too way too long, way too many games. Like I said, this uh, even if the NFL was 162 games, I'd probably be out on it. Mm. Way too fucking long, way too big. That, time that's fair, it. actually. Yeah. Mm. If baseball was like 60 games, I could probably well, like more more NBA. Yeah. You're kind of sucked. 162 yeah. NFL game season would be the funniest thing. <laughs> so Those funny. rosters at the end of the year. Yeah. You'd have to play what, three like two games ho- a week. Yeah. You needed 200 like person roster. Yeah. Like minimum. Well, probably more. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be insane. Uh, okay. So the boys clean sweep on the other side of the bracket. 11 seed versus six seed. The six seed well earned spot. Nothing else could really take its place. Basketball. Basketball is the six seed in our bracket. <laughs> Clever is so fucking mad. <laughs> can't even look at them <laughs> versus the 11 seed betting so betting oh, no. gambling oh. versus baseball or basketball sorry how could i confuse them uh jay you're... jay you're up uh, i love me some hoops dude you are who'd you do that with grace o'malley you did like the ball is until she said life oh caroline uh caroline that's right um yeah, I love playing basketball. I love watching basketball. But I think my favorite of all of those things is betting on basketball. So I'm going to say betting. One for betting. One of our most prolific Beta. basketball betters, Stephen J. Donnie. I got to go basketball because I think the feeling of losing a bet is worse than the feeling of winning a bet. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, I don't say know if you're allowed to say that either, but it's profound. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Um, so I'm going basketball. One for basketball. Shacks. I could give a shit about the NBA, really. Uh, don't really have a team. I would like Pacers. one. Huh? I, Pacers I like the Pacers, and I grew up like, you know, I get, my dad liked Reggie Miller, and that, I mean, if we watched, but that was rare. Um, but I love college basketball and mm-hmm. March Madness, and that I think that's my number two sport to watch underneath of NFL. Um, even over college football, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to go basketball. Two to one basketball, Tommy. I forgot what, what I said. Did I say the feeling of losing a bet's worse than the feeling of, of winning? winning? No, I meant yeah. I meant the f- feeling of losing a bet is worse than the feeling of winning a bet is it's good. good. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's yeah, what I got. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, when I bet, I bet exclusively on the barstool sports. Obviously, uh, and I love betting on the barstool sports book. We have some great uh, parlay pluses. That's the data parlay. Exclusive perks. Um, basketball. Honestly, I'm only interested in basketball if I'm betting on basketball. Uh, like wow. March Madness, I like March Madness, but I want to want to. I'm gonna want to have a bet on the game or a a tournament, a fucking bracket, bracket. or whatever. Uh, like th- that's the best part of March Madness. Basketball, it's all right. it's all right. I I almost uh I don't really like. I mean, the NBA is fine. I do agree. I think I like college more. It is fun to play. It is fun. Shooting hoops is fun. It's yeah. not. It's it's it's. Me and Tommy had a death it's, match it's, in fucking Dave and Buster's. Yeah, you guys. Oh yeah, did. Connect Four. Connect Four basketball. We yeah, went, it was unbelievable. Had a tie I game. Spanked Clemmer. I, I beat you Clemmer. at the end. You I took Clemmer over my knee and I made him my little baby. You forget how I whooped I your ass at the end. You need, no, I don't actually. I genuinely don't remember that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll go betting. Another for betting tied up. Clemmer. So uh, I had Celtics season tickets. I got them right after they lost the Greg Oden, Kevin Durant lottery. I was like 27. I finally had enough money to be able to support to, uh, hey, four season tickets. He's been in the league for 15 years. <laughs> cool. I was 27. So I'm 43. Fucking old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I got great because they just lost. Basically, the Celtics were at like a complete bottomed out situation. So I got great 
tickets for the money, which was like fifteen dollars a seat. It was awesome. And then they got, you know, Ray Allen. They got KG, and I, they won the NBA Finals. And I got to go to all those games at very low cost. It's my greatest sports memory. Having said all that, like if you took basketball away right now at this very moment, I could only have one right now. I would choose betting. Mm. I, I got. Oh. I, I, unfortunately, like, you know, you get married. And you just you only have so much time, and like basketball is kind of shit. Is that by Dane the Cook? Side. Sorry, not to cut you off there. I'm pretty sure Dane Cook just walked in. No, dude. Oh, that's not Dane Cook. Yeah, that's no. I don't know. His face looks a little weird now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could maybe see where you're coming. He, he has got I've seen pictures surgery. of him recently. He has plastic no. surgery, but I don't think so. Yeah, no. no. I, he was on the, going him. upstairs. Never that's mind. Weird. Definitely. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. see his half-brother ripping his money off from him, so I don't yeah. think it is Dane Cook. The fact that he's going upstairs makes me think it's definitely not. I, I don't know, man. I, that might be Dane Cook. Dane Cook. He wasn't on the guest Why would he be going upstairs? Uh, I, saw, like, I saw him on one of the walk, binders. He's walking around with a presence to him. Like he yeah. had two girls like escort. His, his him wife's around. a viceroy. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Huge. Go from the top rope. Sorry, come I didn't mean to cut you off on any time. Oh, it's, I'm going to go with betting. It's like I said, if you had to pick one that I could do, you know, I, I just don't follow the NBA as much as I used to. So, betting it is. For some reason, Dane Cook would always like when I put my phone into the car, like the plug it in. Dane Cook would come on like the shit shit on shit on the coats episode. Mm. What he did. really it doesn't even start. It's usually if it starts with yeah. an A. Mine's a Vampire no. Weekend no song. It starts with Mine's A. A Punk by Ed Sheeran. A Punk. That's what yeah. mine is. Oh, have Vampire Weekend rocks. So, so Clumber, did you get you got you had season tickets? Yeah, got to go the entire time. That's Fifteen dollars a seat. I got to go to all those NBA final games. It was incredible. It's like wow. my, my best shit. sports memory. How old do you? Fifteen dollars a seat. <laughs> well, that's right. Because the Celtics were just bottomed out. Because they had just lost a lot. Like no one was getting season tickets. They Lumber gave me all these perks. That I'm Aiken s- hip game. <laughs> they had to get through the hoops. I'm still not even the age you were when that happened. That's how fucking old you are. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Wow. Jesus. Uh, Marty. Uh, I'm going betting because basketball, I, I college basketball is the best to watch. I think even live. I think it's one of the – I love going to those games, but I wouldn't be watching games on a – Wednesday afternoon if it wasn't betting and I'd know more about basketball because of betting so betting and you wouldn't have a job wouldn't have a job yeah. which by tomorrow I don't know if we don't know you know oh, oh yeah February 1st <laughs> oh my god yeah, yeah tomorrow's the day oh. bye bye <laughs> people will be listening to this on February 2nd so this yeah. is Marty's last piece of content this could yes. be grim yes yeah yeah, um, last thing. yeah that, that is a good point like I only watch WVU when they're playing, I don't yeah. really give a shit about any other. I watch, I, except in March. Exactly. Um, I would only watch Duke, and then when I start betting, I'd be, I'm like, I wouldn't be watching these games when Duke's not playing. But mm-hmm. I only do. That was an OG one with the with the, the parrot, Rudy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with Rudy. Stick. Almost died. Almost. He still he's still kicking. I don't know how long. He's retired. At Eighty-five years. Wall died before the bird. Holy shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. It's nuts. All right. Betting moved on. Now we have the three seed versus the fourteen. The three seed beer. Beer obviously was going to be on this bracket the whole way through. I'll, I'll offer you guys the chance to switch it now. We can make it nope. booze. Beer rocks. Oh, I, well, booze is different. Booze, 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 it's a whole different ball game. But I think booze includes beer. Not for me, but if, if that's yeah, what we're doing, that's does. a whole different game. I, I, I just consider booze. You are such an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just don't drink that's beer. A, I don't <laughs> drink booze. booze. It, I drink so ciders. Excited. Beer is under the booze umbrella. I, I believe so too. Yeah, I mean, we're it squares and rectangle. I think booze is, makes it much more interesting. Right, booze. Yeah, so let's make, let's make a booze. But like, should, should that be A? Should that be alcohol? What, you know, like booze? like yeah. B like, beer is right. more true to the letter B. But right. That's fair. Bucks could be money or exactly. that's right. dollars. Before. That's ticky tacky. We could go booze. Let's go booze. I like booze because it includes okay. everything else. Oh, Strong. Wow, all right. It's going up against the number 14 seed. So just by Donnie, and it should have been, I feel like, on every one of our lists, balls. Yeah. Oh, so balls in general. Oh, fuck. I mean, that's even Lord. stronger than basketball. Mm. Are these just like any ball or like testicles? Any uh, ball, I think. Like, yeah, any ball. Oh. Unless you want to take it literally like testicles. Does a hacky sack count as a ball? Of course. Of course. Yeah, it's ball shaped. Uh, also, a hacky ball. sack's a ball. Right back I don't think circles. a hacky sack's a ball. Hacky sack's a well fortified bean bag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think a hacky sack's a ball. I don't think it's a ball. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't have a, it, you well, can't a circular shape. You can't it's roll a, a hacky sack. I mean, what's the definition of a ball? What is happening to you right now? It's round it and it can be used <laughs> in a game. I think I think that hacky sack counts then. So you have to be able to play with it, but a hacky sack's not always round. He's circular. Solid. A football is a ball. It's not round. Oh shit! Yeah. Circular oh, yeah. or can roll. Okay. The yep. Merriam-Webster definition of it: a solid or hollow, spherical or egg-shaped object that is kicked, thrown, or hit in a game. 
You hit a hacky sack, it's yeah. spherical in shape. I don't think it's a ball. Hacky I know. Sack. It's not hollow. Yeah, it's well, it's said solid or hollow. So it is. No, we're solid. not counting Anything. testicles? Uh, I think yeah, testicles count ball. under the ball, bro. Okay. Ball. Yeah. Yep. Though you don't. If my dick could them. work without balls, I'd get rid of them, I think. I think the balls are a nuisance. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 it, that is a little extra. Do you actually? I'd rather that I think than my dick sucked. Mm. Oh no, <laughs> that's a hot take. No, I don't know. You, but don't you got you don't forget the balls, ladies. Yeah, I don't like shaving balls. I would rather my balls be left. Oh, I don't shave yeah. my balls. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't. I feel like you have to be so careful. Oh, I go to town. Contours. I go to nut. town. Yeah. Uh, so balls against booze. Uh, who did we end with last time? Me. I uh, know. I started to chase Jay. Them. Uh, we ended with you last time. It's fun to uh, drink booze, whether it be beer or gin and tonics or whatever. Um, I mean, balls make all sports possible. They make fucking possible. They make everything possible. Busting enough possible. So, a criminally underseated balls. Criminally underseated balls. Donnie. I mean, if it was balls versus basketball, I would go balls because there's a lot more variety. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I gotta go booze. Um, it's a brutal matchup. Yeah. yeah. I feel like in college and a couple years after college, I couldn't really handle my booze. So, you know, like waking up having pissed your mattress is a horrible feeling. <laughs> but uh, I have gotten that under control. And uh, yeah, booze when enjoyed responsibly, there's nothing better. Um, so I'm going booze. I'm going booze. Mm -hmm. All's do get in the way. I got a. Uh, What's going on? Are we dying? Oh, oh are we back? back. What, this, what yeah. the fuck just happened? I think whatever this was just unplugged. Are we still recording? I've seen lights, but was yes. well. yeah, everything went off. I think this extension cord just like fucked up or something. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, we're still we're still recording. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay. I was just about to say I got kicked in the taint one time and um blood. I was just like at the time I was like, thank God I didn't get kicked in the balls. And then I went home and I guess like Blood from the taint was all flowing into my oh. balls, so they became like oh three God. times the size and started mm. to turn purple. And it's a scary ordeal. Yeah. yeah. Who's your yeah. ball sack friend's name? Pat. Sweet potato Pat. Yeah. He's expecting a child now. I mean, he must be like. He, must have been so easy. It must have been like a fifty caliber bullet coming yeah. out of his dick. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of sperm he has stored in those mega nuts. Unbelievable. You see the size of this guy's ball sack. Really? He just has one real big ball. It's about the size of a. What would you say? A sweet potato? No, I think it's, either, it's, a, a, it's a big sweet potato. I'd say like a Cornish game hen. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. shit. It's just one? It's one big one. It's massive. Wow. Is that, is that a problem? It's like half you the size it's of that globe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Almost what? exactly. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, I saw it. It's nuts. <laughs> it literally. Uh, oh Nick. Oh, my God. Uh, so this is balls versus booze. booze. Having a racquetball and just bouncing it around or like in a college dorm and bouncing off those cement walls, it's... That's great to have. Um, there's something about just playing catch, you know, passing football. Nikki can fucking spin it too. Um, but I love being drunk. I love uh, drinking, getting a nice buzz. I don't get fucked up. I just uh, I catch a buzz three, and I'll ride it out. Beer, Nikki, is, didn't you say that's when you're at your best? That's my best when I'm at, at three beers and that's I'm I'm firing on all Reason. cylinders. I'm the charm is on. I'm yeah. I feel I'm, I got pep in my step. My uh, yeah, it's uh, booze. I like having a beer. I like having a beer mm. with the fellas, with the boys. Yeah, that would be the matchup right there. Tommy, Nick just put it very well. I, yeah, I've I've really liked drinking lately. I've really, but liked like the thing, I don't get super <laughs> fucked up to the point of hangover. <laughs> buzz is by far better than I love drunk. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, a beers. little more than a buzz. I like a little more than a buzz. I don't yeah, want to yeah, be like it, obliterated. It, but no, I like being drunk. I can't tell you the last time I was obliterated. Same. I think the only last time I did was like a wedding, and I was like, "That's like doesn't count as a real life." You know what I mean? No, I feel like I don't know. I I've beaten. I don't. I haven't had a hangover in months. Mm -hmm. I I I have this. Uh, no free ads. Some fucking drink with a bunch of magnesium salt powder before I go to bed. I pour it in a water. I chug it, and I wake up hydrated and good as new. You're really good at naming brands for shout outs and remembering their. No, name. I didn't want to shout it out. Like that fucking chicken wing trough. Yeah, sorry to that place. Um, yeah, being. Uh, like, even tonight, I'm like, should I, have a, should I drink tonight? 
<laughs> Tuesday. Well, uh, I know Clemmer has like literally eight beers every night. Eight Not true. <laughs> that's a lie. Clemmer relies on it though. I and that's I never get to. A, I, I never understand when people do like sober, January, so dry January, yeah. sober October. Like I know a lot of people do that, but to me, I feel like I don't drink enough where I need to take time off of doing it. Uh, so like if I'm just getting drunk twice a week. That's fine. That's just, yeah. that's just fucking living, baby. So I'm going booze. Clemmer. Yeah, I don't like I don't like balls as like a top. I think it's like too encompassing. I don't feel like that's fair. Uh, booze is great. I think that I think the idea of like the three or four that is that is the peak. I think I absolutely agree with that. Um, yeah, I mean booze is fantastic. I, I love booze. It's booze in, in a walk here. Booze in a walk. Mark. Yeah, I, I, I'm balls is not like a category. I don't think that's good. Mm-hmm. Booze versus baseball is going to be a nightmare for you. Oh, oh, we're never going to find out. Baseball well, balls. I would choose. I would choose baseball. By the way, over booze. Yeah, oh. but that's you're just didn't baseball. Is cool. you're fully no. addicted. I don't consider baseball, balls. Though. Balls is <laughs> but not, balls is baseball. I don't, I don't count that. It's too much. We got testicles involved. We got all. You we got football. I don't count. Every day, though. I don't you don't count watch it. baseball. You don't watch yeah. baseball every day and. There's a baseball yeah, off. A little bit of you booze have no off. Do you talk yeah. and read about baseball every single day? Oh yeah, yeah. I have a baseball. And you drink every single day. I drink. I drink, I have one or two ciders every night before bed. That's true. <laughs> true. <laughs> nothing it's wrong not, with that. It's nothing wrong with nothing that. Wrong with nothing a couple of ciders. You have a problem with that, but you, you just I don't say, have a problem. You just that. said I drink too much to stop. You're like, I don't understand a, a sober October. I drink. I, I said I don't drink enough for it. You just say, but you say, like, oh, I drink all the time. Like, it's fine. No, no. You yeah, misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're probably <laughs> drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. I, I just, it's tough because what you just said, if you if balls are gone, we don't have sports at all, at all, at any point, right? Mm-hmm. And I know I can, but I really love a nice old fashioned with a, with a. You're drinking old fashions? Oh, yeah. Mm. Trying, I love trying to get on the train. I wish I could. Because I hate whiskey. They're too I yucky. Too. They're so whiskey yucky. Guy. You need a. You have a Malibu Bay Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you need a drink when you go out? Especially like with yes. your friends, you I don't care. I, get get the pink drink or whatever. When you go with people that like you don't really know that well, you need like a a man. Yeah, it's drink. a good icebreaker. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not going out with men like menly men hey. that I need to impress. You went out with us. Yeah, you hung out with us. Yeah, and I got a nine dollar <laughs> Malibu Bay Breeze yeah, at Dave and Buster's. That's fucking best deal in the city. That is a good at nine dollars. Nine dollars for a beer was ten bucks. Drinks there were fuck? super cheap. Yeah, super cheap. It was yeah. crazy. That was the worst service of all time. By oh yeah, uh, that, oh, that yeah. Dave and Buster's. Yeah. She actually bar. moved pretty quick. That she just had no help. So yeah. That too. That, that well, I'm just saying. That's not saying it's her fault. It was just the bar was terrible. It was definitely a virgin Bay Breeze. Oh, uh, trust me, it was not Virgin. Tommy was feeling it. <laughs> you like an espresso martini? No. Oh, I love yeah. an espresso, I love espresso martini. I'm a beer guy. I like a light, cheap beer. I think How do you deal with the bloating? A burp. Mm. See, that's my problem. I, I've never burped. In my uh, life. That's an issue. I heard so KB easy. has You've never either. burped in, KB your and Caleb in my life. Well, Caleb can't. Caleb's like, stomach is not surgery, where his yeah. stomach is. Yeah. yeah, that's a problem. But I've never burped. So whenever I have beer, it's all right here. Stuck. And I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to blow up i don't chug i don't drink fast yeah. i just yeah i heard that there's a shot that you can just and it it's like a steroid it's that you helps burp. your like helps you burp huh. Huh. i've never burped my entire life you try it it's re- it's re- a relief i know I, it's like i'm handicapped yeah. yeah i really am i can burp on command it's so easy oh yeah burping's easy yeah. swallow some air yeah. two, mar- two espresso martinis at this restaurant the other night 110 dollars what what that's not possible no that, in, uh, what? Fifty five dollars for an espresso. It, it was. Yeah. Was this in Manhattan? Yep. No, that's not possible. It was a catch. It, oh. Oh fuck. That's even still a catch, not. That's possible. crazy. Insane. I know. Jesus Christ. It's insane. Uh, no, that's not possible. Did you see the price of it before you ordered it? What? Did you see the price before you ordered it? Yeah. Well, I was sorry. I didn't order. I I saw the price and I was like, no, I'm not doing okay. 110. So I got a very woman drink. Hmm. Like a, it was a liquid. That, that's not. It was, was it much cheaper? It was in, is it was forty eight bucks and for two vodka in Kahlua. It's like the simplest drink in the 48 world. Forty eight for two, as crazy as that sounds, yeah. isn't that? I could wrap my head around. Yeah, that. that's expensive, but it's like all right. That's... It was fifty to five dollars espresso martini. I was like, what the fuck could that be for one? Yeah, for one. Was it like one of those massive ones? Like someone was posting. That I didn't see the it. Oh, big Jeff cat Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't see it, but I. It was just on the menu. That's why beer. I go to this one bar in Chinatown. Ten bucks, you get a can of beer, a koozie, and a pickleback. Ooh, is this the like shot city-wide. every thirty minute place? No, uh, it's another. This is a different place. Like citywide in Philly, almost. Yeah, I just uh, if I go out, just shots. 
Mm. Just shots. That's it. I, I See, can't. I like having something in my hand. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'll hold yeah. something in the hand, but I, the bubbles, you know, the bubbles yeah. get stuck mm. there. I gotta talk to KB. Yeah. Um, I'll go booze. booze. KB doesn't drink beer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't either. I've never. I stop beer completely. Booze. He doesn't drink beer as of a few weeks. Uh, he doesn't drink beer a lot. He'll get like a really, really high alcohol percentage, like, like a, a raging Chimay, bitch or whatever. Sure, raging bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that fucked me up. Sex early. on the beach. Or sex yeah. on the beach. Ask you guys a quick question. I've been dealing with this. You guys hold your stomach, like flex it all day. No, no, no. What? Okay. What do you mean? You do flex it? I, I all day. You're gonna get a hernia. And that's it's why just, you like you don't gain weight, even though you're eating nonstop. I think shit. that's what it, it's, it's got to be. Constantly burning calories, clamping your abs. I'm always clamping. That's actually maybe that's yeah. a way to not get fat. I think it might yes. be. <laughs> Are you talking about like sucking in or like holding? Like it? when you so when you're doing a sit up, what you when you like. Clench? Yeah. clench your stomach. Yeah. I'm clenched all day. Oh. Are, you, are you concerned about someone like making fun of your pot belly? No, no, because I don't even really have one. It's just more, I just, oh, I realized it the other day that I was like, man. It's so uncomfortable. I just did it for the last like couple seconds and it's already bothering the shit out of me. Doing, I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> it's <laughs> so bad. I don't That's like it. Uh, 10 seed versus 7 seed. Burritos versus burgers. Whoa. Big matchup. Different, two different cuisines. Burgers versus burritos. Marty. That's, that's easy for Clemmer. You don't like the things, and you can't eat things inside of inside things. of other things. That's true. Um, I'm burgers. I think a classic burger. I have burgers way more than burritos. I think it's a close one, but just like barbecues, mm -hmm. I love when people are just grilling some burgers on a barbecue. So yeah. burgers for me. Mm -hmm. Clemmer still mad about the baseball thing. Hashtag Barstool Sports. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, it is it is burgers here easily. Like I said, I don't like to eat things inside of things. I don't like this cheese and burritos. Am I right yes. about that? Yeah, there's all sorts of the, yeah burritos. This is this wouldn't even be in my top. You're no cheese at all. No cheese at all. I have massive diarrhea. Do you have a regular hamburger? <laughs> massive <laughs> diarrhea, like out of control. You're lactose intolerant. Like if I have, if I have, how I, much do we have to pay to eat a piece of cheese? <laughs> oh, I can be bought for that. Uh, ice cream, ice cream. If you want to get me to shit myself, like ice cream is the the way to go. Like a big scoop of ice cream. I don't know if I want you to do that. I'm saying if that was the goal, <laughs> if that was the intended goal by paying me, to, to, that would be... Like, I just think it'd be funny to watch you eat a slice of cheese. Oh, I'll eat pizza and I won't really... Free, but I won't... I won't feel... Well, I think I've made my... Because the pizza's everywhere. You can't really avoid it. So I've made my you stomach... not eat pizza. No, no. Sometimes you go all places with friends or whatever and you, you have to eat pizza. It's the only option. So I've trained my stomach to at least tolerate it. But if pizza's I, a lot of cheese. It's like almost nothing but cheese. Yeah. No, no, no. I think you, pizza's a thin layer of cheese. Yeah, it depends. What I you don't think there's one place that you can't get something else besides pizza. Yeah, oh, like, bullshit. You with your friends, oh, let's go, let's all split a pie. It's like, well, I'm going to have chicken tenders. You can't do that. You get a chicken I mean, you roll. Can't. You're, or like a, I won't eat a chicken roll. things inside of things. Yeah. Do you, don't forget about have that. You, have, oh, did you yeah, do this yeah, last yeah. week or was this off air? That this, we talked about this last we're week. Talking about him eating. Yeah. We talked about this on the podcast. Yeah. I don't remember if it's in the podcast or in person, but yeah. No, it was on. It was on? That's, okay. That's, so. that's all my favorite foods. Yeah, exactly. It's, no it's all the best foods. Dumplings, no rangoons. Dumplings, no, 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 no tortellinis. Raviolis. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, tortellinis. No, that's the worst of them. Because um, it's the most hidden, you know? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> They're that's, sneaky. Yeah. People don't talk enough about us. No, no, Yeah. The only type of food I like. Yeah. No. Empanadas. No. Burgers are good. I won't eat a cheeseburger, obviously, but burgers are great. Because they're not halal? <laughs> no, I would enjoy a halal. No, I won't I, I'll, I'll go and get halal all the time. It's good. That's cr uh, A slice of pizza has more cheese than a cheeseburger. And it's grease, too. Yeah. It's a shit ton It might of be like the mozzarella doesn't affect me as much. I, for oh, some you reason- You say mozzarella like such a gringo. <laughs> <laughs> How should I say it again? Mozzarella. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, you say ricotta? Ricotta, yeah, oh, ricotta. ricotta. Uh, but <laughs> I hate, I legit hate white people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, burgers. I'm just gonna lose it. <laughs> this has been a very frustrating I, hour. Uh, yeah, burgers, burrito. I mean, I like burritos, but burgers. And my my, th I like shitty, quote unquote, shitty. Like I much prefer fast food burgers to. A good, like a quote unquote restaurant good burger pub too. or par bur or bar oh, burger. Like, shit. give me a thin, li like the, do you like the ones at Factory? Yes. Like that to me, there's this bar in the city. I was like, you got to get these burgers. Factory burgers, like an In N Out burger. Oh, I didn't really like that. I would have gotten the burger because I, I, I made I a get, whole like, sink about how they're like. I get overwhelmed. 
with like a like I said, a pub burger. It's too big. I can't. Oh uh, no, that. nice thin Which, little. Yeah, patties. like McDonald's underrated. I know that everyone. McDonald's is great. Great Big Mac is no cheese is great. A hamburger is great. Burger King burgers I like a lot. I don't think McDonald's yeah. is yeah. a big yeah. burger underrated. King burger guy. I think so. I think people not uh, the burgers especially people mock all the time. Like you know, Wendy's had a whole thing. Where's the beef? Oh, fresh, never frozen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll go bur- uh, burgers. burgers. I think to the the credit of burritos, I'll give it that. I think that the heights of burritos are so much higher than the heights of burgers. Like I would rather the best burrito over the best burger any day of the week. Like the margin, really? the margin for error is insane, though. Yeah. Get a bite of sour cream. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Is like, oh, but, it's like <laughs> no, but you just just sour cream. Oh, oh like yeah, the, yeah. If they don't divvy it up. Sour cream is an elite. Chipotle doesn't respect. Though. They don't respect anything anymore. The wrap. They they the wrap is all those Toros does. But like Chipotle, they, they, sometimes you get it. So it's all undone already. I always like, I go to Chipotle once a week, and I always have a problem. Yeah, yeah. always a problem. Nonstop, Nick. Uh, it's burgers. It's not even close. Not even close. I mean, yeah. But I'm I don't like like a bear burger or any of those giant ones. I like a like a backyard barbecue. Give me a burger that's burnt, Bubba's dry burger. as a bone. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Smash burgers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I don't want any uh, no juices. Just dry. Plop it on the bun. Uh, what kind of bun? Uh, don't give a fuck. All bread tastes the same. <laughs> that's f- I prefer uh, some sesame seeds. Yes, thanks. That's so what? Yeah. So, what? so what? I'm I'm done with hard bread. Done with hard like bread? Hard bread, bread is so stupid. You ever have just a back? You grill a burger on the back porch and then you throw it on just white bread? Oh yeah, yeah. pretzel yeah. buns. Oh yeah, Dude, pretzel buns. Mm-hmm. Pretzel buns fuck are a big suck. game. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think they. Stink. You think they suck? Oh, way too much. I think they try oh, doing too much. Good. Yeah, it's a little messy, I guess, with the pretzel. Bun. But uh, what's even better with burgers? A slider on a Hawaiian roll. Yep, <sighs> King's Hawaiian. Mm-hmm. Those are. I am good. so hungry right now. That's all I can think about is the sliders now. Any of you guys have a grill? No, but they're opening a White Castle right near my apartment. Fun, oh no, I, White Castle I made me like shit blood. Hard. <laughs> White Castle's good. White like Castle, there's one right by Fordham. So the burgers are wet. The chicken I've never rings. had it sober. I think little no, diced never onions? sober. Yeah, a little diced onion. They, they sell clams, Summer's dude. Life, mom. <laughs> they're 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 no, microwave. No, no, no. What are. do they sell? White they sell clams? clams. Clams. Ones next to me had fried clams. <laughs> if gr- they have fried clams. That's funny. <laughs> shit. What's the one? Knows White Castle sell clams? That I think I think it's like a menu staple. <laughs> the one I had, I lived right next to one in Columbus. Are the clam strips gone from every location? Yeah, they had clam strips. <laughs> yeah, that I definitely never witnessed that. It's any seafood whatsoever at White Castle. What the- Wait, another great B went to White Castle, got thrown out. Beastie Boys. Oh yeah, Beastie Boys rock. Yeah, mm-hmm. it would have been my Backstreet top sixteen. Boys. But, Beastie you know. Boys. The Beastie Going Boys got me out of the Pacer yeah. test in gym class. I was because my gym shirt was a Beastie Boys shirt. Gym teacher was like, "What? You like the Beastie Boys?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, you don't have to run the pacer. Bro, I was so wow, hard. that's nice. awesome. That's I cool. was a hardo with the pacer. I was the what kid, is the pacer? The beep when it beeps and you have to run to the other side before it beeps again. This sounds great. It, it was if you got a hundred, you didn't have to do it. and You got a t-shirt. I was setting records. Can we do that here? Uh, the pacer. I don't know what this is, but I want to do. The beep goes faster and faster too. Yeah, it so gets faster. But you can do anything, brother. I want to do it. Our stool. Let's do. Let's do the. Let's do that because you're fast, right? Yeah. We should do it, but we do it. No, it it it's more of an endurance thing than a speed thing. Oh, re- oh no, yeah. never mind. I'm out. <laughs> Are you fast, Clemmer? Yeah. yeah bar- like bar- barstool Idol. I did the basketball thing and I ran yeah. really fast. Oh, yeah, you were faster than Lukey Lunchbox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I was faster than everyone there. <laughs> I'll race you any day of the week. No, I'm not saying that. You're also like a generation younger than I am. I'm saying I want. I was going to be collaborative. We are going to... Do it together, oh. Lemmer. You should just do a series where you're doing high school gym stuff. Yeah. Oh, I would do that in heartbeat. I love that stuff. I love dodgeball. I love that stuff. <laughs> European handball. I don't know what that is. Oh, I liked European. Oh, handball. what is that? I loved European handball. So My fun. favorite day in gym class. Yep. What was, was that? So we would have like a dodge or a, ner- a big Nerf ball, and you could only take three steps, and then you had to pass it, and then it was just a goalie in net, and you just throw it. Dude, so awesome. much fun. Oh, that's Olympic sport. And you could. Shoot a three pointer for for two uh, points. We were, allowed to, no, we were allowed to. We're allowed to do that. I didn't. I, didn't, I think it was you just had to throw it at the goalie. But yeah, you can only take three. The two steps. most embarrassing days were the sit and reach. Did you guys have that? No, I'm not. Oh, that sucks. Flexibility. And then the second one was scoliosis day. Mm. They checked to be if I have scoliosis, and I I've had scoliosis forever, and they're always just like, all right, yep, I know it. I got it. Like, I didn't like right. the rings. You remember the rings you'd have to hang on to for however long? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I did that. We did the mile. That was just the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. That would always cheat. When you were younger, though, if you were fast, you were in the cool crew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all you knew always, about. People. I'll, I'll yeah, say it to this fast. day. 
Tyreek Hill, no. Chris Johnson, no. My boy Adam Hammerquist, fastest dude on earth. That's yeah. a fast guy name. Fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hammerquist? He's so, he's so fast. You get a head start on being in the cool crew to like go into high school. Yeah. Yeah. You knew who the fast Because you're playing tag. Yeah. That's one of the I, first I, games. You still know who the fast kids are. Oh, yeah. Right, right. But like, sure we don't know at work who the fast kids Like in school, it was like, oh, yeah, the fast kids. Is Adam Hammerquist, Nick Augustino. <laughs> I remember, oh, yeah, Austin. Trevor came. Brady. Austin came in sixth grade from Arizona. What New was his last name? No, just Austin. Oh, uh, I'll I, dox him. I've been Austin, saying people. Austin Green came in, and we had two fat. And I know all these kids; they're all friends. Liam Slattery, Alec Ascani, and uh, Austin Green comes in and says, I'm, "I bet I'm faster than them." Liam smoked him, he, and it felt so good. It was like, "Yeah, we're New York fast." <laughs> like, yeah, our fast kids better than whoever, whoever you are. Like, Adam Hammerquist would have lapped him. I promise. <laughs> Your professor's name Valdo with a V. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, and like the kid. Do you guys Jamaica, have Field Day? Where was he from? Oh, yeah. Jamaica. Yeah, I think. Field Day was the best. Uh, field field day, day was amazing. You know, this awesome. It was like yeah, the best. You got to run the hundred yard oh. dash. They were the. What, what did you do? I went to a small Catholic school in West Virginia. You didn't have Field Day. Didn't have Field oh, Day. No. Oh, played hacky sack awesome. by yourself. We had the wacky relays. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys have wacky relays? The relay oh, races. Yeah, we weren't. Field Day, we had. Race, yeah. Like I had, did, you do the spoon, uh, the egg, the egg, egg, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. egg tosses and stuff. Uh, potato field day sack, once. Whatever. Potato sack. Yeah. Remember that we did the barstool field day that one time. Yeah, we that did. Was really fun. Like a war. Oh was yeah. We, yeah, is that when we did uh, beans or something? There was egg toss there. The too. bag race, a water balloon toss or something. No, we did. Uh, we did the egg thing. We did. Um, I think the bag run, and we did. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, we did water balloon toss. Me and you were yeah. partners. That was crazy because caller daddy came. Yeah, yes, exactly. It was like and it was the a big deal because they came for one Actually day. She came for one day to work. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, burgers are gonna win. But Donnie, yeah, burgers. Sometimes you get a burrito and it's like ninety percent rice and beans. That's the it's worst. It's almost like too filling to be enjoyable. And I still can't wrap a good burrito at home. Like I've I've tried to make burritos myself. I like I never get the wrap down. It always explodes. Um, so yeah. I think there's a lot more variety when it comes to burgers than burritos. Yeah, that's true. You can always have a Mexican burger. Yeah, and then that's the kind of the stuff that's on a burrito already for yeah. in some ways. Jay? Yeah, bur- oh. yeah, burgers by a pretty good margin. Burgers by a pretty good margin. All right, last matchup of the day. <coughs> number two seed versus the 15 seed. The number two seed, it's it's huge. I'm curious if anyone can guess it before I even say it. Boobs. 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 It's boobs. It's boobs is going up against number 15 seed, breathing. That's a bad one. Boobs versus breathing. It should be boobs versus butts. No, what happened to butts? Yeah. Get sub in butts if you guys want. I say, no, we, I say, I say we do the, yeah. the classic debate, boobs versus butts. Yeah. It's, it's going in right now. Butts versus boobs. Che, you're first. Love a good ass, but I'm a tit man. <laughs> <laughs> so Did proudly. you just look in the camera like Jim Halpert? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was guy? gonna be way more profound the way he did. Yeah. That. Mm-hmm. Big boobs guy? You like you're a natty guy, I could guess. They're both good. They're both good? Equally? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You don't have a preference? Uh why would you? Yeah, I mean oh, come on. A lot of people hate fake boobs. Yeah, I I'm not a fake boob. Uh, yeah, natural's way I better. Am. The bigger the better. I don't care how they come. If you get a good set of fakers. 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 Pretty good. They but don't feel the same though. Who cares? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen oh, oh, yeah. fake butt up close and personal? Yeah, those don't Not look great. Right. Tech personal, isn't there yet. The tech isn't yeah. there. Yeah, I, I, I don't BLs. Not a fan. Donnie. Um, I'm not opposed to boobs by any means, but I think I got to go butt. Mm-hmm. Here, just personal preference. I don't have, uh, I don't know. Do you want me to like go into detail about? Talk about the porns you watch. Yeah. <laughs> <Screen. laughs> so that's one one right now, Nick. I'll always appreciate a big set of Greek weddings. Always. But when it comes to I'm gonna take a different approach okay. than everybody else, just for just for the sake of it. Um a big fat ass is awesome uh for a girl to have to look at, smack, uh, you know, holler at. But when you like when Blatman walks by with his big dumper, that's even better. Just that's to funny. Oh, <laughs> my my my. Yep. So I think uh, the the ass is more versatile. Like if you see a girl ass, you can enjoy it, and if you see a guy ass, you can mm. <laughs> you know enjoy it as well. Exactly. Um, like well, 
Glenny Ball has tits that you can enjoy. It's, it's not. It's, it's not the same. It's yeah. not the same when a dude's lugging around a big ass. <laughs> That dude's got a wagon. Because it's not even an insult. Zaw, like Zaw's a lot of ass. hockey players, Zaw's ass. And um, you think about what would it be like to be inside of that? <laughs> exactly. That's the <laughs> logical next step. Um, a, lo- a lot of hockey players, wrestlers have a- KB has an ass. YP had the fat. YP had the fat ass. ass. Baseball, um, baseball players are known for the. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. And like, if, if you have a boy with a big fat ass, it's fun to clown. Exactly. Yeah. Like if you have a boy with titties, it's kind of mean. It's mean to make fun yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ass. Two for, uh, that was, I like that. It was good deductive reason. I like that we went from the boobs versus butt debate to just fawning over guys with big asses. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate um, your use of we there. That was... You remember when... It wasn't uh, fawning. Oh, what? We were all fawning about how much we want to fuck guys in the ass. <laughs> oh, so all, everybody Blattman. said that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when Glennia took a picture and basically Bailey Carlin like oh, diagnosed, like, diagnosed breast with breast cancer? Because oh, yes. one nipple yeah. was way smaller. And Glennie's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Fasoli, I guess like I've been to the fucking yeah. doctor. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Fasoli used to be a, a larger kid, I think, back in middle school. And he said like, everyone on the football team would walk up to him and be like, purple nurple. Oh, and yeah. His entire tits were just yeah. bruised purple all football season. That's brutal. Where if he just had a large butt, that would not have happened. He just would have got like the occasional spank. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That's weird that it's more okay to twist your nipple than do it to anything to someone's butt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a guy. I mean, yeah, if someone wants to slap me on the ass, I'm not going to care. Slap if someone came up and like, fucking and twisted boys. my tit. It's a disrespectful. Yeah. Borderline. Yeah, because that's like good game. Like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Tommy, you went with? I mean, come on. Everyone. What, what is Tommy like? It's Tommy, it's Tom, no. Tommy Smokes. You yeah. submitted big boobied blondes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. I like blonde girls with big boobs. That's yeah. the tale as old as time. Everyone knows that's what Smokes goes for. <gasps> Glimmer. You're so brave, man. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't mentioned like farting. Like the butt provides farts, which is a great source of humor. I, I and poop and poop, which is kind of gross. Though. Poop is good and bad. Like my own poop uh, is funny or it smells funny. Haha. Oh, someone else is like shit. Not a uh, I, I would expect you to be a big, big boob guy. No, that's why I'm going to go with boobs here. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, no. I, 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 do, I just wanted to bring up the fart element. I think it's important. The poop element is two sided coin. A lot of comedy comes from the ass. That's true. Yeah. Bro. Um, but yeah, like. I, I got to go with boobs. I mean, it's just, it's a fur. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of a no brainer here, but the farts are an important element. Mm. Marty. But with the butt, this, hey, this is America. Wow. Three, three gridlock. <laughs> Great. Wait, is Gooch in, is Gooch in the hardest position right now? Yeah. He literally between the boobs. <laughs> you're, you're breaking America's greatest debate. Yeah. Oh, it's not even a debate. It's the ass. I know. Oh! That's She's a, got a great ass. Yeah. <laughs> Al Pacino. That's an Ohio boy right there. Wow. Listen, that's head to the Midwest. That's what you got to see. That literally makes me want to quit the show. Hooray for the poop cutter. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought Midwest would be all boob guys. I don't mm, know what. No, we it. take them how we can get them. Size 36 and khakis. That's my type. <laughs> <laughs> Trent. <laughs> Trent. <laughs> uh, okay, now we can run through our playoffs. First matchup, busting a nut versus beaches. This is, this is tough. Marty. It's beaches and butt. Busting a nut. Busting a nut. Busting a nut. <sighs> I don't know. That's so tough because I don't. You know what? I'm going beaches because beaches I have more fond memories of, mm-hmm. I think. I think beaches I. <laughs> Jeez, Jay can't believe it. Hot seat, all your sexual partners ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going beaches. Going beaches. beaches. Busting a nut. Do you have more fond memories of beaches than you do? I mean, sex? it's just. Beaches last way longer. But like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> too yeah. long, though. Yeah, so yeah, sometimes it's too long. I love beaches, but well, not if you're Rudy. Yeah, it's like essentially an entire yeah, true. He said <laughs> minimum thirty minutes oh, of yeah. vaginal intercourse. He's a psychopath. <laughs> um, so Marty's gay, right? Guys? <laughs> Wait a minute, no. Because <laughs> why are you guys lampooning him for saying he has more fond memories of the beach than busting a nut? I'd say eighty percent of nut busts are forgettable. I'd say ninety percent. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more. Yeah, I, I, think, I fuck I way more. Than ninety percent of beach trips. We're also no not. Way. We're also not like grading this based on just the fond memories. You know what I mean? That's just one qualifier. Sure, but I think that was a good point. Yeah, yeah but it's uh, busting a nut. Yeah. It's great. Busting a nut. Um, yeah. B- busting a nut is too accessible. It's too easy yeah. to do. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. More of an alert. Why not for Matthew Hamilton? Should, yeah. Uh, I'm going beaches. Beaches. 
I'll be too. going beaches as well because uh, you can suffer from post nut clarity where you have yeah. regrets or feel shame. I've never had like post beach regrets. Being but, like, why did I? Yeah, burn? sunburn. Burn. Why did sunburn I is a post beach regret. If you could prepare for that, you can't prepare. There's nothing you can do to prevent post nut. Don't get drunk. Yeah. Busting a nut no, is different I, than you, post You can be completely flour. sober. Sure. And then after, yeah. Oh, the busting well, we can't, nut is like the feeling of right, yeah, actually right. not being busted. But then we can't but, say the sunburn after the beach. It yeah. qualifies. Fair. It's fine. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. Either way, fair. going with beaches. Yes, and, I've, I've never regretted uh, a day at the beach. Oh, well, we know what this photo yes. is. Huge words. <laughs> Splat out. <laughs> Splooge. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Splooge. All right, Gooch. Goo. Goo. Uh, <laughs> this is actually kind of tough, but I, I am going to go. I love beaches, but I'm like Nick. Didn't have access to them as a kid, but busting a nut. I think it's timeless. Never timeless. gets old. Busting a nut moves on. Now, Che, the boys versus wings. <sighs> hand in hand. What is this? The boys versus wing or buffalo wings specifically. This should be easy. So my greatest memory is actually of eating wings or in college, there was a bar uh, called Crebet's, uh, which was formerly Bogart's for any Long Island people. Mm -hmm. um, and they had 10 cent wing nights on for Monday Night Football. And I actually go with a female friend of mine, uh, Lindsay Novak. Uh, friend zoned. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were both actually in relationships, but um, it sounds like a romantic comedy. Yeah. No, but uh, we just really liked the wings there and they were 10 cents so um they're not they don't necessarily go hand in hand but it's gotta be the boys gotta be boys i love, I love wings though mm -hmm. i'm Honey. going with the boys too plenty of finger foods you can eat with the boys other than wings mm -hmm. or other than specifically buffalo wings sampler platter with the boys great time. yeah hey there's oh, yeah. a lot of good wing flavors out there a lot. Nice. A little sample sweet platter. chili Hmm. Mango habanero. Oh yeah, garlic. Um, just parmesan. Oh, like yeah. parmesan, really good. Mm -hmm. Nick. Um, tough. It's the boys. It's yeah. not tough. Yeah, it's not. The boys, Tommy. Yeah, it's easy. Boys. Boys, Clemmer. Yeah, boys in a walk. Boys yep. in a walk. <coughs> boys going up against busting a nut now. Oof. Marty. Oof. Can't have one without the other. <laughs> <laughs> At least in Marty's case. <laughs> um, yeah, me and Ryan Lee. <laughs> Ryan Lee. Stomp in the yard and then yeah. go yeah. and fuck <laughs> each other. I'm tired. Let's go. Come. <laughs> That's enough stomping, boys. That's Time enough. to clap the cheeks. <laughs> At least we're not playing with water guns, though. <laughs> um, no, I'm still going with the boys. I, 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 love, I love the... With the boys, there's never really a plan. You're never like, let's go here, do this, do that. It's always just like, usually start to get drunk and then just figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I, that's what I love. I love the just, it's whatever happens with the boys. Exactly. Clemmer. Yeah, I think you have a short window for like busting a nut, right? I mean, you, you know, you don't bust a nut till you're like, what, a 10, 11, 12 for the first time. And then you get older, I imagine, as you get even older, you bust, yeah, as you get older, you bust a nut less. You have less. a pretty large window for busting a nut. No, but, it, but it, there is <laughs> it's a, almost It's almost your entire yeah. life. There, there is a window, though, where I feel like with- Is with, there? I think, oh, I bust a nut way less now than I do when I was 25. It, it just, it, it, you just don't, your testosterone drops. You don't need to do it as much. You get older. And, uh, but with my, with my friends, I always want to hang out with them all the time. It's great. Like anytime with, and you know, you get older, you don't see as much. Anytime with them now, it's like you're right back where you started. It's the best. Uh, the boys here. The boys, Tommy? Yeah, I mean, busting a nut with the boys, that would be, <laughs> that would be the pinnacle of man. Uh, yeah, I'll go with, um, with, with the boys. Boys? Not even close. Boys again? Boys, boys Jay? Ford and Pussy Patrol wouldn't be without the pussy. So, but if that was a, the it wouldn't be a patrol without the boys. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah. We, the Ford and Pussy Patrol is the exact combination of these two things <laughs> exactly. come together. Um, you guys didn't get pussy though. Oh my god, we fucking swept up every girl. <laughs> That's, That's still one of my favorite when Spider is saying like you're not invited to my party, that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the Seraphim house. Scrib, you're not Seraphim Scrib. Seraphim, hell yeah. One of the best videos. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking up for the horn dogs, busting a nut. Busting a nut. Either way, boys going into the finals on the other side. Betting versus booze. Jay. Betting. Betting easily. <sighs> easily. Not a big booze guy. I like booze, but betting's the goat. Betting's the goat. All right. Donnie. I'm going with booze. And uh, if you use the Barstool Sportsbook, never mix betting and booze. Hey, no that's good. Good. Mm -hmm. good plug, Nick. Uh, 
Yeah, it's got to be booze. It's just like go into a tailgate. You have the case on your shoulders. You know, as soon as you get there, you're cracking one. Oh, that first crack. Oh, that's, that's why they call it that. Yeah, it's as good as busting a nut, in my opinion. Booze. 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 Three to one. Betting's awesome, but I, I gotta go booze here. Booze. You know, I was. I'm glad it didn't come. I because I was thinking about because you ever when you you gamble right, but you ever been around people that don't gamble? Yeah, no idea what's do, going on. It's like you feel like such a loser. Because it's like no one, it's like your fancy team. No one cares about your fancy team, but it's like, all right, you got minus two and a half. What, you, what does that mean? It's just like, mm. all right, pal. <laughs> everyone can booze together. Yeah, everyone can booze together. So I'm going booze too. Booze. And now the la- other matchup <laughs> butts versus uh, burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, you're first. That's just funny. <laughs> Ass burgers. Yeah. Look. Whoa, Aspergers. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> put together, holy shit! Ask, you're oh. right. <laughs> right. We'll let Tommy go first for this one. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that Curb episode of the Asper- the guy, when the kid has Aspergers? He pretends he has Aspergers. Well, Larry pretends he has Aspergers, <laughs> but the kid has it, and he's just like, "You don't think he's just an asshole?" Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just what is on his on his mind? Um, you know what? I'm going burgers. I really, really love when that burger juices into the bun. Mm. I love burgers. Right, Nikki doesn't. You you like that dry? I like right? a dry. Mm, can't get behind that. But I like my butts wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's other options. I mean, even at a barbecue, a good like I'll go with the hot dog sometimes over the burger. So I'm gonna go with butts. I'll never go hot dog over burger. Mm. Never. Imagine a person with no butt. Oh, I'm I might go hot dog over burger. I can't imagine that at all. Sure. Because I feel like specifically at a barbecue. Like, I could get burgers in a lot of other settings than a barbecue. A barbecue, I mean, you could get hot dogs other places, but not really. Mm. Hot dog's more mobile. Strong I'm, point. I'm not going to order a hot dog at a bar. I could order a burger at a bar. Yeah. So if I'm at a barbecue, I might want to use that up. What about at a game? A game? Uh, oh, I'd, I'd get a hot dog. Hot dog. A burger, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm going burgers here. Butts, just to stick up for team tits. Butts, <laughs> whatever. I don't give a fuck about butts. <laughs> Be flat as a board back there. What am I going to do with it? Not a butt uh, guy. Yeah, I'll go with uh, with burgers. Nick, I'm not a horny man by any means, but if I see a nice ass, one that one that Nikki likes, I'll howl at the moon. Uh, I'm going butt. Another for butt. We're tied up, Donnie. Yeah, I'm going to go butt. There's a lot of alternatives for burgers. A lot of other types of sandwich foods you can eat. But There's only one ass. <laughs> it's three to two in favor of butts right now, Che. Give me the dumper. <laughs> <laughs> the smile. <laughs> yeah. Butts versus booze. Jay. Give me the dumper. <laughs> Still the dumper. This championship? This is to go oh, into the championship. Yeah. This one's tough. Yeah. I will say that I used to be like Clemmer and have one to two drinks a day. Uh, but now I try to take a few days off in the week and it makes me enjoy the booze a lot more. Mm. You know, it's not, it kind of starts to lose its allure if you're having some drinks every day. So, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, shit, it's booze and butt. butt. I mean, booze has probably ruined more lives than butts. It's true. That's not true. Colon cancer. What do you consider about men chasing tail? I don't think that's in the same ballpark. Uh, Maybe I have to go but so my grandfather was killed by a drunk driver before I was born, so I never got to meet him. So Ugh. maybe, yeah, I think I might have to go. I might have to go butts? butts. Put me in a tough spot. I love <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> what? I like booze. <laughs> oh, you know, I had, a, I had a whole spiel. <laughs> you got to separate booze from booze driving. So mm. maybe I'll go booze. You're going to go booze? Yeah, it's uh, all right. Yeah. One to one, Nick. Uh, I think it's booze. And, uh, I, I f- have found the joy in just having one beer at dinner as well. I think there's just something nice about it. Uh, booze rocks. Mm. Booze. It's always fun to say, like, oh, what a hard day. Yeah. You have that beer or whatever. You guys all it's, make fun of me all the time. It's, it's almost, now you're all coming around. I do it every day. It's almost like I'm playing house. I come home and I'll put on my slippers. I'm just like, ah, might as, might as well. Crack one open. <laughs> Sit down on the couch. Ugh. Pretend like you have a wife talking yeah. to nobody. Yeah. Um, uh, booze. Yeah. I mean, just. I'm just so team tits that I think I I straight up dislike asses. Uh, so I <laughs> I will go with booze. Three to one in favor of booze, Clemmer. Yeah, it's uh, it's booze here. Um, it takes the edge off. It's great. 
Everyone makes fun. Everyone makes fun of me as this drunk. But just, you guys are all just as bad as I am. Except for Che, everyone's saying booze as well. All right, Marty. Booze. Uh, you guys gotta. It's the. It's got to be exhausting for how horny you guys are. It's got to be so okay. tiring. It, it really is. For one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of us chose. It's got to be yeah. so tiring. It's a great release for it. Mm. You might be a serial killer if you couldn't jerk, if like you couldn't come. Maybe. Very possible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you think there's a chance you'd be a serial killer if you couldn't come? If you weren't allowed. I mean, where's all that other... And the uh, energy. energy go? Not I think be a lot of people. Killers. I think a lot of people would well, be. Would you? If you don't... Physically masturbate, then it will like it will just start to. It like turns into like. It will start a to come out at night. Like I've I tried to go. Like, I haven't had one of those in a two weeks time. without jacking off, and I had my first wet dream in probably. Really? Oh yeah, we've years. It's got to go somewhere. Love a good wet dream. I mean, it's a wet dream like every other day. Not every other day, but whenever it happens, a few Didn't times you a year. Do that? It's, a, it's a delightful treat. No, <laughs> the content thing you were no, doing. Robbie, oh, oh Robbie, Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Stephen, would you not? Would you not nut for a year for a Buck Super Bowl? No. Well, oh, wow, that's the line. Wow. Yeah, How about six months. Yeah, could that's he still have time. sex with his wife? No, 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 no. no. So zero, oh, yeah, zero busting. I mean, if it happens in your sleep, it happens in your sleep. Yeah, you can't stop. involuntary doesn't count. Yeah, I don't think so. What if, what if, what if the what if this was before they just won? Like, what, would that have changed things? I don't. Uh, think so. I don't think so. All right, so Stephen Trey, you love coming more than anything in the world. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see your hands? <laughs> cold. I'm very cold in here. All right. So booze versus the boys. This is brutal. This yeah. is so tough. Marty, you're first. <sighs> this is horrible. I, I yeah. Go. <laughs> I, I'm glad you're first. Yeah, because it's like the boys are just, but you drinking with the boys is makes the boys even better. But it makes the drinking better when the boys are around. Yeah. 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 If you're only drinking alone, and it's no, the booze is like no good after a while. This is <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna make a motion for amends. Can we just say boozing with the boys? Motion denied. That's pussy shit. All right. Yeah, yeah, I think we have to make a choice. I'm just got to make a call here. I'm. <clears throat> Sorry, Tom. All right, <laughs> hey, uh, motion uh, brought, brought up. Motion denied. I'm going with the boys. I, I'm going with the boys because I think that I started out most of my life with the boys without drinking, mm -hmm. and I. It was always fun to make fun of one of your boys too, and I could still do that without yeah. drinking. But that's what when you drink and you can enhance the making fun of that one yeah. friend is even better. But There's always the one friend in the group too that eats the most shit. Oh. Yeah. It's my friend Dave. Mine's Dizzy. Marcus Black. The name of our group chat is Dave Sucks. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> this kid I'm very Viva of you. No. <laughs> Not different Dave. Uh, actually, yeah. No, sorry, Chizzy. It's all, I always did the Chizzy. I, yeah. Let's see how many things. I cut him from the Stomp the Yard thing. <laughs> oh, 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 it started no. young. Yeah, he got, he got cut. Um, I one time changed the sign. You know when you could change the things? to oh, Like the letters? Yeah, to call gays with a number. Thought it was funny oh, at the gaze? time. Yeah, it's like, the only yeah, letters yeah. that were around and <laughs> that I can make a funny word. And I got pulled in front by a cop, undercover cop, and pulled a gun on us. And I told him I didn't have my wallet and gave him Chizzy's name. Oh, that's oh my oh, god, right it on him. <laughs> I just got progressively worse. <laughs> so bad. And I love him too. He's a good rest guy. Rest in peace, Chiz. Actually murdered him a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we had one guy and it was his high school friend group. We signed him up for the army. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we gave him like all the information we had so like they came to his house and shit was, you ever do that like I, we put our, one of our friends cars on on uh craigslist yeah, 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 or yeah. like when the people in the mall are always given like sign them up for shit in the yeah, mall too right. that's the best we catfish one of my friends bad in high school you told me about that and that's, yeah. that sounded very that's creepy that's so mean but that's i understand weird. did you get him to send a dick pic to you uh, so we actually <laughs> just say no well no i wasn't <laughs> the one in control of the account one of our friends like we all did it as a oh, joke yeah, made it and then one of our friends uh like was controlling it and talking to him more and uh like at the end the kid who like got catfish was like you know he was asking me some weird questions <laughs> <laughs> actually it could be a good romantic comedy if they fell in love like that 
You know, I just, I just remembered another story from the same kid that we made fun of one time. He was talking about, like, he just, I was asking us a question. He goes, have you, any of you ever been to Six Farts? And he meant to say Six Flags. We bring it up to this day. This was years ago. <laughs> it's what it is. Just like, <laughs> Even though you, you want to go to Six Farts today, Dave? <laughs> even though you make fun of him, he's a vital part of your friend. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. he's not around, you don't even it know what the you. fuck you're talking yeah, about. Right. Yeah. You. Yeah. Exactly. Or you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's a plot of like a bunch of different sitcoms. Is like the, that friend leaves the group and the entire, everything falls apart. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think D leaves, and it's always an extra shit like that. I gotta, I gotta run to a train, so let me vote. Uh, the boys buy a lot. The boys buy a lot. Yeah, absolutely. The boys, um, you know, I, I hung out with my friends before they were dr- before we were drinking. We were 12, 13, 14. It's the same group of guys. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. The boys, boys, the boys. Yeah, the boys. I think, I think a good way to look at this is if you took boy your boys away and left booze that's a sad existence yes yeah. no friends Very oh sad. yeah drinking one or two hard ciders every drinking night with girls wait a second what are you what are you yeah. <laughs> living on uh <laughs> yeah you mean uh, happily married with a wife tommy um not alone oh clemmer stop <laughs> i wasn't talking about you deflecting oh, okay. much <laughs> um but yeah, if you took booze away, I mean, yeah, it might make the times of the boys a little less fun, but you could find dumb shit to do and, yeah. and make it just as fun. Boys, you there's still, do... still drugs. Yeah, yeah. you could do Molly yeah, yeah. with the boys, shrooms with the boys. Yeah. We forgot about drugs. Uh, we did forget about true, drugs. True, true. And other adrenaline activities, like throwing a boy off a bridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something like that. It'd be yeah. fun. There's still water there's parks. Stomp the yard routine. Stomp the yard routines. <laughs> get the blood pumping. Yep. I used to build forts with my boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, building shit. Nothing so better than that. And then we yeah, started bunker. to drink and we stopped building forts. It was so sad. I feel like, like boys that don't drink together, though, just become dude perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a good so one. That's a nightmare. I don't want that to be me and my boys. Yeah. No. 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 I feel like the last two weeks between this, talking about the boys, talking about different toys, can we as a, as a group, as a, a bracket activity, have a day of just being like teenage boys again? We play yeah. some football. Maybe we fuck oh, sack wax. Oh, that was a rock. Yeah, hit each other nuts. We should do that as yeah. like instead of doing a full live show like the other podcasts do. That should be our thing. Just do a field day or something. Yeah, yeah. like a group field. I mean, day. We don't even record it. No, I was gonna no. say I don't even <laughs> hear a recording. We are not doing this for content. Oh, no, play no, some no, fucking no. wiffle. It's incredible. Do you think you'd still see your friends if there wasn't drinking involved? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I think so. Yeah. I, I'm saying like not if they live around you. I feel like because usually when you go to see your friends, it's. A, it's involved with an event. It's happening. the go-to thing, yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, let's go. We're going to a bar today or something like that. But like, if you don't live close to them, I'm swaying towards booze now, just because like it makes everything easier. Mm. Yeah, you come come over, have a drink. It's like the ultimate. But think about your life without the boys. It's yeah, but this hasn't doesn't have to be yeah, one yeah. without the other. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But I think if the if the idea of like which one of these things enhances your life more, I scared myself with the dude perfect line. Yeah, I don't want that. That's so scary. But them. even then, to them, scary. to the outside world, that sucks. But to them, they're having the best time of their lives. We're gonna like, drink if I'm with my bo- if I'm when I'm if I'm with my boys without booze, I bet you it would turn into trick shots pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. dude perfect. Yeah, is also doing really well. Yeah, they have like they're building a fucking empire. Basically. They're millionaires. Yeah, multi multi multi. Yeah. I don't know. I think like just without boys, what's the point of living? There is no point of living without boys. 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 Donnie. Boys. Boys. Clear winner of our best things that start with B bracket. Thanks, Donnie, Mush, Clemmer, all for joining in. Uh, we'll have a new topic uh, next week. We're actually going to record on Thursday. I believe we're having the Out and About Boys on for an episode, which would be really What are we talking about? Gay as shit? <laughs> gay as shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll think of a good topic for them to, to dish on. Uh, but until then, we'll see you guys next week. Wow.